stone pudding or something, I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Okay. Or the stone pudding or something, I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this bicarbonate of the fig leaf. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pipes. Your soul is mine. By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case of But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Why so serious? Riddle me this. I haven't had a lot of company in a long time, but if I were expecting some, I'd whip up a really uh, substantial meal. You see how strong I am <laughs> from eating all this stuff. Your soul is mine. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Adoken! By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case file protected. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. Riddle me this. Why so serious? Yo me got it! Never that time! Fourth the top! Tyrannosaurus! Always winterize your pipes. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. We all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. You seem to be well grounded in the case file protected. By your powers combined. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your 
powers combined. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. You seem to be well grounded in the case file But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pants. Or the stone pudding or something. I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this bicarbonate of fig leaf. Riddle me this. You're so But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Riddle me this. It's so far. All right, man. It's been a while since we've uh, podcasted. I don't, uh, what was it, like last year? Now we're here again doing this again. What's up, people? Otaku Jump Podcast Episode 1. We have a lot of shit to cover, so this is going to be not too long, but we're going to try to do the best we can. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do uh, little wrestling mania intros. I, I want to see what people are going to come up with. Um, go ahead, Omega, because you're funny. Go ahead. Give me your your wrestling intro. Omega. Yo. That was my wrestling. Name. Just kidding. Hey, what are you going to do? Oh, my God. Really? That's it? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead, Eisen. Just give us an intro. It really doesn't matter. You've already lost anyway, so just telling you anymore is useless. Wow, these intros. All right, uh, go ahead, Swift. <laughs> Yo. All right, there we go. All right, it works. Trunks, go ahead. Short and sweet. Yo, what's good? It's Trunks. Let's get it. All right, uh, Diaz. What's up, everybody? Uh... I'm Donnie, and uh, stay tuned for the show. We got some good things for you. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, and uh, Lawrence. Hello, and welcome to your all new, all news channel. All right. So, uh, we let's go first ahead. Let's first, 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 first. Um, be sure to like the video. Um, all these streams will be available. On Spotify, Google Podcasts, and other uh, audio formats, you can check the description. Also um, on Anchor as well. Uh, for the audio visual people, um, 
you guys have been, I know you guys haven't really listened to anything um, because most of my videos have been, this video's on YouTube. So um, finally updating that Anchor website. And we actually actually had a couple of listeners on there from the uh, solo interviews and other uh, audio podcasts I was doing before. So um, I'm, hopefully you guys will enjoy that Anchor website being active again. But uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to start off first. We got a couple of things I wanted to uh, first start with. Um, here we got a uh, yearly uh, Oricon sales ranking uh, 2021. And this is from uh, Shonen Jump News Unofficial. Uh, they have a lot of good takes on manga sales and stuff like that. So for uh, ranking for this year so far, we have number one is Jujutsu Kaisen uh, with uh, 30 million copies. And next we have Demon Slayer. Of course, Demon Slayer um, coming back with the Mukin Train arc. And of course, the Entertainment District arc later um, next month. Uh, Tokyo Revengers, of course, uh, Revengers did really well this year with their anime, so I'm not surprised to see it um, in the rankings. Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, One Piece, no surprise there. They're always in the rankings. Chainsaw Man, no surprise there. Spy Family, actually, uh, four million, almost five million copies, and a they, uh, Spy Family will be getting an anime, I think, next year because there was a teaser trailer on that um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Kingdom. Still haven't seen it yet, but it's it's still in the top uh, top ranking, so that's not bad. And of course, Hayaku, the uh, volleyball manga, um, in four million copies. Um, quick thoughts on uh, the sales or, or this of any of these series ranked so far? Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen screen. being number one, that's expected. That's what I was expected. Same with Tokyo Revengers. There you go. Same, and I, 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 I can't hear y'all. See. Who's talking? That was me. Okay, go ahead. No, I was saying that Jujutsu Kaisen, that's expected to get number one. Especially with the hype of the movie coming out with Chapter Zero. Same with like Tokyo Revengers and anime hype. Especially them leaving it off on the cliffhanger, that's gonna lead people to reading the manga. So, yeah, true, 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 true. And even even without the hype, um, manga has been doing extremely well in the last two to five years, um, outselling even the most popular standard comic book, which seems to be Batman still. But manga has been kicking butt. It definitely has. There was a, so, I believe there was a article on that a couple months ago about manga outselling comics or something i think there was an article on that yes yes it made it, it made the rounds um actually to the point um that just to make themselves look better industry-wise comic companies have started doing overall counts including manga as well as scholastic to make themselves look like they're really publishing more than what they are but if you start separating it out you're looking at manga sales i mean just for one book selling over a million when the average comic sells about thirty thousand. i mean mm -hmm. that's that's a huge huge difference mm -hmm. uh thoughts uh omega yeah um i definitely uh see that um just going based upon the popularity between uh demon slayer and jujitsu uh kaisen they're like neck and neck, but uh, yeah, the sales uh, pretty much show a superior uh, kind of dominance right now within uh, what people are looking forward to, especially uh, Kingdom and Chainsaw. I mean, they're just kind of really uh, like really good manga like to read. So, and I mean, One Piece is basically classic so right okay uh trunks anything i mean um just in general like i've read comic books i've also read a lot of manga um yeah manga's better i don't know generic statement <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's just better like no wonder it's selling more okay uh ideas I just want to piggyback off of what Trunk said. Manga is just not better. Uh, but 
they they have a commitment uh, and a dedicated focus to uh, focusing on the story and character development especially when you're comparing it to something along the lines of a marvel where they have a uh an elongated timeline i believe every four years is one year in marvel and unlike dc there hasn't been any sort of um hard reboot uh whereas in manga everything is more like its own pocket universe i think that the fan bases can just kind of dip and dash and all these different lores and different character universes and as you can see here with these 10 all of these are their own uh have their own targeted subgenre you have jujutsu kaisen which is the jujutsu kaisen and uh demon slayer which are for the more supernatural fans the tokyo revengers if you're more to the mystery criminal aspects of story attack on titan if you just like big monsters and superheroes we got pirates uh spies you know sports you cover a lot of ground and these are the top 10. you know you don't get sports comics in america you don't get you know spy comics they have some but they're not the ones that get the push uh and so seeing these rankings for me uh nothing here stands out i would have assumed uh chainsaw man so more but the actual rankings themselves none of, none of it surprises me mm -hmm. okay uh eisen <clears throat> uh, yeah um kind of uh starting off from where adidas and trunks left off i mean it's not surprising uh how uh manga is uh outpacing comics um i guess you know probably comics started dying off you know early 2000s i would say you know i read them big in the 90s they were great uh but kind of going off what adidas was talking about the thing that you notice uh with the manga is is that uh these companies they uh they tailor uh everything they listen to their audience that's actually buying these comics so they um they uh tailor stories and they do things that are wanted and needed uh by their fans uh so to keep them going so um jujutsu kaisen and demon slayer being the top two it's not surprising um don't really know much about chainsaw man i uh i cool uh it's been around uh, i've seen it uh uh advertised different places not really uh into the uh sports like that but um uh, uh as far as uh anime wise one piece is <laughs> i mean it's just <laughs> it, it's been standing the test of time to be able to stay so long um and relevant so uh those you know that have been up there you know it's not really surprising at all okay uh so we're gonna uh go ahead and tackle the yep. dragon ball uh breakers finally um i think uh Rebuttal. oh go ahead i hate you all <laughs> okay <laughs> no seriously you guys nailed it man for real i mean it's 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 kicking the ass of comics man so bad <laughs> it's so bad okay hey, uh, man, maybe if we could just keep politics and bull uh you know out of our comics they'd be a lot better well actually actually, actually when we get to my stuff that's where i'm going with it actually that's exactly what <laughs> I'm... i would like to embrace that hate thank you yeah yeah right <laughs> just take it in love it you know treat it like a love child right <laughs> yo so there's also like um mm -hmm. There's also like another comment I wanted to make, but like, uh, I'm not sure if it's like YouTube friendly or appropriate. It's for the comics versus um manga thing. All right, well, we could talk about okay. that later. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, yeah. <laughs> All so right, so I'll, so yeah, so when we so so when we jump to me hitting that spot, we'll go back to that then. Fair enough. All right, cool. Uh, Swift, uh, you got the uh breakers. Go ahead. You want to go ahead and say say your piece on this. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball the Breakers. Oh god. <laughs> A new Dragon Ball game. <laughs> AKA Dragon Ball Hide and Seek. <laughs> Basically, you want you either like Bulma, the pig from Dragon Ball, I forgot his name. Forgive me, I forgot his name. Or your your um the Xenoverse character. That's interesting. You can actually transfer your Xenoverse character to this game. So that's the positive. But basically, it's a Dragon Ball hide and seek game. You run away from whatever big villain that's raiding the whole town, and whoever lasts the longest or who has the last the um, time limit or whatever wins. 
So, you know, you can compare it to a game like Friday the 13th, kind of. Right. I don't see it being as enjoyable, but. My thing is, um, <laughs> who wanted this game again? I mean, who asked for it? Because I don't remember seeing anyone asking for this type of shit. Dude, I thought people were asking for Xenoverse 3. That's what I was I thinking. Xenoverse this. or maybe uh, something else. But Xenoverse 3, that, that's what I thought that was going to be the next thing that's going to be released. This game? No. I don't know. And, and here's the thing. They trolled with the trailer. With you being able to transfer your character, everyone's, everyone's thinking this is Xenoverse 3. Oh. But no, huh. you're just a basic human. Just running away. This is I I don't see this uh doing well. Um thoughts uh Omega. Um my take on it and just the appearance of it, um I guess it brings a different kind of uh gameplay strategy to actually just you know trying to actually uh survive. Like, you know, we have games like PUBG. Uh you could actually fight back of course but this is more interesting like a kind of hide and go seek kind of thing like you know i'm pretty sure you're not powerful and you need to just you know bail out i mean we have horror games that are kind of like that like you need to run away and survive the time you know actually spent so i don't know it's uh i don't see it being something like Oh, I have to get this. This is maybe one of those buys where it's like, um, I have a little extra spending money. Let me, you know, mm -hmm. check it out. But, uh, what do you yeah. think, uh, Eisen, on this? You think it's a day one buy, or is this just a bargain ban, or just you think? Uh, for those who would, it is a bargain being buy, as far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, maybe for some little kid, I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Uh, who, I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, what do you attribute hide and seek to? I mean, kids. I mean, right. <laughs> there, there's nothing interesting about it. I mean, I'm just running and hiding the whole time. So, yeah, yeah, hey, it's a bargain hey, being I, at best. And I don't even think kids want it. When kids see Dragon Ball Z, they think of fighting first. Yeah, I agree. There's no way they think of the, <laughs> they don't think of the people or the humans running away when a whole city gets destroyed. That's not what they're thinking about. Okay, maybe toddlers in maybe <laughs> the, <laughs> the correct term, but uh, it, it looks like to me it's just a bad uh, grab by, by the Dragon Ball franchise for money because they just don't have anything right now. Um, especially when you look at all the, um, the, when you just look at, uh, what we had about the manga sales and everything. Um, mm -hmm. and I mean, yeah, it, it's terrible. It, it's just bad business when all Dragon Ball, all the franchises ever been is a glorified fight fest and you don't even fight. So <laughs> terrible. Right. I, I like to throw in one more thing. Mm -hmm. This seems like something that was not really anticipated but maybe in the works maybe pitched a certain way but i i, I really thought they were going to just probably focus on another uh dragon ball z fighters or right like, that's what uh, that would be the uh i mean i think it'd be the go-to option uh you know fighters did pretty well in the yeah. fighting game community yeah. uh go ahead and make a sequel but you know i think they started they stopped doing dlc last year i think so maybe it's still kind of fresh I don't think we'll see a sequel to Fighters anytime soon. But if you want to keep up with the fighting game community, you're going to have to make a sequel to it. Um, but that or, Xeno yeah. uh, or Xenoverse 3, I mean, that would have been the go-to option uh, here. I don't see... <laughs> people, some people in my comments were like, oh, well, we need something different. I'm like, this is not going to do well, but, man. I think this is, might be aimed, though, at a younger group, if I'm correct. Maybe. Anybody want to no, take on no, it? I'm but... saying, what, what kid watching Dragon Ball Z wants to play with a character that can't go super saiyan you can't yeah, even they fight. want a solar flare and run away <laughs> just, that's so stupid solar flare <laughs> and take that's off. so stupid <laughs> i don't know what's funny that's actually in the trailer and that's the funny part <laughs> uh uh ds what do you think uh uh hot take 
I'm actually gonna buy this game. Oh god. Um, it looks. It, it sounds fun to me. I think this is a very, very extremely creative concept. I, I need to see how it actually plays, but I'm vibing with the ideas. You know, as long as the other survivors aren't characters like Launch, or you know, it, it sounds like Dragon Ball Z meets Dead by Daylight. And right. I, exactly. I think it'll be a very the other I think it'll be a very personally. Big. Other characters, you got the little pig, the Xenoverse character, and um, Bulma. I think it, it looks like a younger version of Bulma. I could be wrong. Okay, but... so, Adidas, you're going to buy this day one, correct? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, day no, one? no, no, I'm cheap, so I don't, I don't buy games day one. No, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, not day one. <laughs> if he does buy it, he needs to stream it. <laughs> I'll definitely gotta stream it. it. It, it, it's gonna be interesting to see uh, what the sales and numbers of this game. Does. Let's see. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it does. So we'll probably touch this again when it comes out and see how you know community thinks about the game. Uh, Trunks, what do you think about uh, Breakers game? Um, I mean, I don't play video games. Um, I don't know, pretty odd for a twenty-one-year-old, but I don't know, I'm just not really into video games. But honestly, um. I don't know, man. I don't want to play a hide and seek game if I were to play one. Um, but I don't know. I just think the whole Dragon Ball franchise has just been one massive money grab. I mean, just look at Super. So I feel like just, I, I have ah. no idea what they're doing, man. I feel you. I feel you on that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I oh. wouldn't be interested. And how about you, uh, Lawrence? Any uh, thoughts on this? Uh, well, I, I'm like Trunks. I don't really play video games, but the thought that comes to my mind actually is two. Uh, the first one is I don't hear people talking about Dragon Ball anymore, so I don't know who would have asked for this. Um, the second thing, because why hear everybody talking about everything else? I don't really hear people talking about Dragon Ball. Um, my second thought is, is that with the whole hide and seek thing, um, I can't remember who said it, but the question becomes, is this for, for little kids? And if it is, then it's it's a good marketing ploy because you're bringing them in to play the game to get associated with the characters to move them up to the next level of the game. I mean, you're literally building your audience as soon as they're able to think. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. little kids will play hide and seek. There's no question yeah, to that. Yeah, so, I'll give you that. So, yeah so, so, so if they're playing the game and they get a kick out of it, Next time they see Goku, it'll be like, oh, I want Goku toy. I want Goku this. And as they get older, they're already into Dragon Ball. So they'll go to the next, whatever the next level of games are. And I mean, you literally built yourself a lifetime customer by getting them at the age of five. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a great marketing ploy. It really is. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, Trunks um, and I think, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, DSR. I just think that, for the record, I think there's a little bit more to the action concept than just, you know, big muscle guys throwing punches at each other. I think that from the more narrative perspective, there's a sense of fear and trepidation that I felt was always lacking from Dragon Ball Z. You got super powerful, universe-destroying aliens, but they never felt scary, you know, even as a kid. So I think that this is a way to kind of paint the villains in a better light. Let's say you're just your launch, your Bulma, your Oolong. You're running from Goku Black or Broly or Vegeta at his angry or, or Hit or the Genu Force all at once. I think that even for adults, teenagers, what have you, that horror aspect can be built on because horror is simply uh, it's empathy at its highest for the demise of others and the goal of escaping and surviving especially in a co-op setting, I think could be a very fun experience. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean, well, um, you know, this is just my predictions. You know, well, maybe the game will perform. If it does, hey, cool. Um, well, but seeing Dragon Ball Z games for decades, I mean, there's a simple formula that could work and get you money. I don't see the point in risking it, but if, if this sells, then, hey, I am definitely wrong. And, uh, you know, it's a new uh, part of the library. Um, so let's uh, moving on from that, though. Uh, so live action One Piece series cast his Straw Hats crew. Uh, Eisen and Trunks, I think y'all got this right. I think. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead, uh, Trunks. You can start. What's your thoughts? Okay. Um. So personally, for the live action, um, man, you know I love One Piece. Like I really do. But did we really need a live action film? I mean, every time there's ever a live action, like name one good live action. Name one good live action anime adaptation. I just don't see it. The like, last Veroni Kenshin was pretty good. Okay, okay. Besides that, besides that. Okay. Gotcha. Um no no, but this is a show. This is a show. I'm not I'm not seeing a movie. Agreed. Oh, okay. Yeah. This should be the first show that I've known, but sorry. Oh well um I guess, but like except for the um Veroni Kenshin one, I mean I don't know. I just I just never really enjoyed any uh, live adaptations. Like, I mean, Cowboy Bebop, need I say more? Need I say more? Ah, shit. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I'll, go ahead, Aizen. You're, you're, you're second. All yeah. right. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I really don't. Uh, I'm not into One Piece like that. Uh, plus, there's so many. Plus, there's so much. It's too late for me to get started. But the whole, I, I do know enough about, you know, it's based on pirates. So, it's not like it can't be decent um, enough to watch um, if they just keep it to, you know, keep a whole pirate aspect to it with fights and good action scenes. Uh, I think it can do uh, decent. Um, I, I mean, it, it it won't. I mean, it's not like we'll be seeing a Dragon Ball Evolution. So, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Well, All right. Um, I, I'd like to quickly interject. Um. I mean, I've seen One Piece, so unless this is, like, really high budget, I don't think it's going to work. Um, I'm just calling it right now. It's just not going to perform even decently if it's not, like, really high budget. I mean, you, you've seen their all their uh, fucking abilities and shit, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, good points. Um, I'll go quickly. Yeah, um, I'm kind of with you, agree with what you guys are saying about it. Um, I just don't see the need for it. Um, live action anime series or movies. I've, I mean, besides Roni Kenshin, which is basically samurai, that's pretty easy. Um, Blade of the Immortal, another samurai based series. That's pretty much what you can do, unless you're doing like maybe like some drama based series or that's not with too much sci fi action. I think you're good to go. But yeah, I don't, I don't know this is how this is gonna do. I mean, live action Death Note was trash. Uh, some other ones, the Full Metal Alchemist was trash. I don't even know why they did that one, but yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm just have very low expectations for this. You know, sadly, that's what it has to be when it comes to these things. Uh, uh what are your thoughts, uh, uh, Omega? Go ahead. Uh, my thoughts are very similar. Um, there haven't been pretty much good ones, but um. I will say that you mentioned uh, Samurai X. I think that was only about one that I thought they did really good with. Even the the latest one that um, recently just came out was pretty good. But this, I mean, it's I I I always give these live action a shot to just watch, you know, mm -hmm. to see if. One, they stayed like kind of true to it if they didn't change too much. But it, it it just always like when I'm watching it, I kind of feel like I want to watch the anime. <laughs> it, right. it negates you almost to, you know, I, I'm pretty sure the actors and, and all the CGI, you know, go through a tremendous amount of work to uh, put it out there. But uh, it, I don't know. It just drives me as a viewer to be like, I'd rather watch the anime or at least read the manga, which, you know, you know how that thing is when you watch, um, when you actually read the book to a movie that mm -hmm. the movie comes out kind of feeling. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts, uh, Lawrence? Five words. Cowboy, Bebop, Netflix, enough said. Ha! <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've uh, Cowboy Bebop. I, I, it seems like it got mixed reviews. I, I tried watching episode one; it was hard to get through it. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Diaz, what's your thoughts? Uh, yeah, 
Uh, I think this can be good, actually. I, I think that this one has the potential to be good. I think that what a lot of people are missing with this is that the strongest selling point to One Piece beyond the, the cool action, beyond, you know, yeah, really the action, because that's the main drawing port to Shonen for some, for many, um, it's the story. I think that One Piece uh, has the, one of the best written stories I've ever read in a manga. It's in my top four, and you guys said you enjoyed the Rurouni Kenshin. I, I give that same credit to Rurouni Kenshin. Both of those two, manga-wise, those stories are in my top four of all time. So I think that with writing, that's strong because the writer is the most important person on the set he has the most power he's the guy that can create strong performances for weak actors i think that this will be good uh, uh that's for one uh sean spencer as luffy um i think that he'll be able to adapt luffy's isms uh decently enough um is tricky because sean is, is very witty he's smart um, so there'd be a different feel to it uh, because he's intentionally being irritating in, in his acting, whereas Luffy's legit stupid. So I think that it presents um, an interesting contrast. And as long as they take some risk with the story, I'm not with the story, with ad adapting the story with live action, I think it'll pay off very well because the things based on anime that I liked, I liked uh, Detective Pikachu. I thought that was pretty good. I thought Speed Racer was good, and I thought uh, Battle Angel, Alita. Oh, was yeah. Good. yeah. yeah. Angel what was all dope. those three did was they yeah. didn't go one for one. Yeah, they, they didn't go one for one, shot for shot, trying to adapt an anime or a manga to the live action screen. And I think that's why a lot of people agree that they would just rather watch the anime because you can't execute that as well in a live action context. So as long as they take some risk with adapting that beautiful story, I think it'll pay off very well. Um, I just wanted to quickly add on to that. Um, do you know why we watch anime? Because there's certain things in live action that they just can't replicate. Like it just looks, it just looks really stupid. Like when they do in the live action, but when they do it in the anime, it looks fine. Uh, does that make sense? Like, I don't know, certain, like, expressions, certain mannerisms, um, that's, like, how do I say it, like, over the top, you know what I'm saying? Like, when they try to do that in real life, it no, just looks really bad, and it looks super cringe. I think, yeah, exactly, I think that's why, um, like, live action just don't do good. But then, if you don't follow the anime, fans also don't like that. But when you do follow the anime, it just looks really bad. Yeah, exactly. because you uh, can't, think, you know, yeah. I just think don't even try. I yeah, just exactly. Just making the best product available. Exactly. Unless it's like a uh, legendary Bato side, then, then you can, yeah, you know. All right, uh, Lawrence. Uh, so comic book workers union uh, article, uh, go ahead. I'm interested to see what your thoughts on this are. Oh, um, a lot of people, <clears throat> Image Comics came on the scene in the early 1990s. Um, within the last 30 days, there's been a number of workers and employees who have demanded a union be created in, in at Image Comics. Um, the problem is, is that the things that they're asking for shows how much woke culture has infiltrated um, a lot of the standard stuff that we we've become accustomed to that we love. Um, they're demanding transparency. They're, de they're demanding access to choose who can and cannot publish their books, um, which defeats the purpose of Image, Image Comics. Image Comics was created so that creators can have creator-owned um, properties of their own without having to work for DC, Marvel, Dark Horse, et cetera. Um, the interesting part about this is that my take on it, it's going to fail. It has no choice because, again, they're asking for things that secretaries have should have no right to have access to. Um, telling Alan Moore he can publish something or can't because you don't like his politics becomes, I mean, there's just no, there's no way a secretary should have that, that kind of authority. And the other thing is, is that this is not the first time this has been attempted because back in the day, 
in the 70s and, and, and early 80s, we had old school OG uh, creators like Neil Adams, Barry Windsor Smith, Frank Miller, Steve Gerber, Stephen Grant, so on and so forth, who tried to do this themselves. And actually, it's against the law based, based on the Taft-Hartley Act of 1946. If you're an independent contractor, you can't unionize. And that is the very foundation of the creation of comics as a whole. It's always been based on it off an independent contractor concept. So I found that to be very, very interesting um, myself. And um, we're waiting to see how it's all going to play out. So, okay. Uh, before that, uh, Swift, I think I forgot to get your two cents on the live action One Piece. You can go ahead and say that. Yeah, I have mixed reviews on it. It, it, it can go either way. Now, do I think it's going to go good? Eh, not really. But I think it has some type of potential if they can get it right. Does anyone know, actually, like, what they're basing it off in the story specifically? Like, what art? Or, actually, I do or is not. going to be something... I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's starting from the start because you don't have all the members. You only have to, the starting members. So I am I'm assuming yeah, they're starting from the beginning. Um, yeah, yeah. First, um, yeah. For the first arc, I would imagine that, especially if Oda's consultant, it'll be the first 100 chapters because that's what he describes as the first arc of One Piece. Okay. I know. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, they can, he considers that entire part the prologue. From what I know, um, I, I know the main five have already been. Um, They've already got actors for the main five characters, so. Right. Um, and, and of course, for Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, and Sanji, they've already got those. Um, but th there's been no release date or any more information that I've gotten. Mm. Okay. Uh, so back to uh, this article. Any any uh, two cents on this? Anyone want to go on this one? If not, then we can go right on to the next one. Um, yeah, I, I think, um, I'll take a little hit at it. Um, yeah, the representation for these, uh, these people in the long hours and like possibly, you know, low pay could be, you know, beneficial for this, uh, union to, uh, really get them some, uh, like voluntarily and even recognition for, uh, people that want to actually join their um, cause. I, I believe that like the representation is probably self-defeated amongst people in Marvel and DC, maybe enough like who will, you know, who will join us, you know, kind of thing. And then, you know, it may not, may not uh, go to um, greater lengths to actually uh, represent them. So, I mean, well, who, who wants to put in that amount of effort and then like, you know, say a producer or a creator is fired for, you know, just wanting to stick to the actual, you know, story, you know, so. Well, I mean, I mean, there's no real representation here. I mean, I mean, like Image Comics is a self publisher. So let's say you created a character in a book and you took it to um, Image to have it published, right? Right. You're telling me that a secretary in an office gets to tell you she don't like your story and you should change it? Because that's that's, yeah, that's that's what that's what they're asking for here. Yeah, that's that, I, I feel that is uh, totally uh, you know wrong. Right. Because because again, we're not talking about the artists or the writers. We're not talking about them at all. Those are independent contractors. We're talking about office staff. We're talking about the water cooler guy. We're talking about the janitor. We're talking about the secretary. We're talking about the receptionist. In what reality do they get to tell somebody a creation that they made how to do it and how to make it or how not to? There's, there's no logic in that. You know, and it's it's probably just uh, kind of like an idle speculation and the wishful thinking kind of scenario. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. At the bottom of the article, you'll see they drafted up 10 specific, um, 10 specific, 10 specific requirements and two of them fall into that category. They're demanding it. They're not asking. Um, 
As a matter of fact, the next article will show what Image's response was. So, I think it's more that the public has to back them as well, too. You know, the people that are going to be actually purchasing the material, too, would, would greatly help. But right, yeah, but, but, I believe but, this is yeah. a good step in the right direction for uh, definitely the creators. But again, yeah. this is not. A, but again, oh, that's the, that's, that's yeah. the problem. It's not about the creators. This has nothing to do with the creators at all. They're not even included in this. They didn't even talk to creators. Wow. This 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 yeah. is literally this is literally who I was telling you: the janitor, the water cooler kid, the copy yeah. machine guy, yeah. the secretary, the receptionist. They didn't right. include they did, the people who actually make the book are not included in this at all. Wow. So 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 that so that goes back to what I was saying. In what reality do they think they get to make demands on something that don't belong to them, much less anything they 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 assisted in? There's no logic to that. Yeah, I I totally agree with it. I mean, you just made vice president, and the janitor gets to come up and tell you to give you give him your money. That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, but that's literally what we're talking about. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and let's call it for what it is. We're talking about people who have no access to anything, trying to gatekeep it. That's what we're really talking about. Right. Anyone else on this one? Yeah, Trump? no. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, Lawrence. yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I think they asked it out pretty good there. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty nasty business there. Yeah. All right. right along then. All right. So next one uh, is from Eisen on the Mass Effect series nearing development at Amazon Studios, which is um, pretty interesting. This is one of our main ones for uh, this month. Uh, what are your thoughts, Eisen? Go ahead. Uh, I think this will be uh, pretty cool uh, to see uh, Mass Effect, uh, especially the first two. They were really great. Uh, the third one kind of rounded it off. Um, so I think it'll. I think this will be a big one. Um, it's something I think they can do. I mean, it's pretty much like, you know, it's nothing too different from like a Star Trek or a Star Wars, you know, just uh, no lightsabers, but, you know, uh, for, as far as on the Star Wars end. But um, uh, very good writing they had uh, for Mass Effect, uh, different uh, uh, alien species and different things going on. So I'm interested to see uh, what um, <clears throat> what Amazon will do. Uh, with this, uh, so it, it'd be pretty cool to see what happens, I think. Yeah, totally agree on this one. Um, there's a lot of competition out there with Amazon, Netflix, Hulu. Now you got Disney Plus, um, Paramount Plus just started like what last year or something. So, um, the competition is pretty uh deep for uh streaming. So, um, I think these publishers and uh, studios are trying to grab anything they can get from novels, stories, video games. All types of stuff. So, um, yeah, Mass Effect I think, definitely fits into the sci-fi uh, category. Yeah, so. yeah, I think this will be a big one uh, uh, for sci-fi fans um, and for Amazon, possibly. So, true. Yep, definitely. Because I mean, what do they? Ha well, they have the boys. They have the boys. What else they got? That's like big, a big show or something. Got uh, Ryan. That uh, that one show. Ryan. What is it? Like the Tom Clancy Ryan show. They got that. Oh, okay, I, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, not a bad. Jack uh, Ryan, I think is what it's Yeah, called. Jack Ryan. Yeah, and I'm actually I was watching that, and it wasn't too bad. But uh, this could definitely help Amazon um, compete. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, uh, Adidas? Yeah, uh, I don't have um, much knowledge of the series. Uh, I've heard a lot about it, a lot of great things. Um, um so it's getting a show. Uh. I'll check it out. Amazon has done some good things. I know that writing wise, they like to deconstruct a lot of concepts. Mm -hmm. I'm personally getting a little tired of that, but their execution has been solid. So I'll probably give it a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, Trunks, uh, any thoughts on this one? Honestly, not really. I just feel like, um, yeah, honestly, I. I don't have enough knowledge to really make any educated comments about this, so I'll pass. Yeah. Uh, Swift, any uh, two cents? Mm, 
Nah, this is new to me. I need to, I need to get more information on it once it comes out, to be honest with you. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, how about you, Lawrence? Um, I, I don't know much about Mass Effect. Um, I do know some, and I'm actually looking forward to this, actually. Yeah, I, I kind of I knew this would fall into your realm. <laughs> I knew yeah. too. I knew yeah, you'd like yeah, something. I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I've seen a couple of. I mean, I got a lot of people who talk about it, and I've seen a few homemade things here and there, or something like that. But yeah, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Seriously, I, I'm, I'm excited for this. I, I can't deny that. Uh, how about you, Omega? I'm with Lawrence. Uh. I'd like the games, so I'm pretty sure I might like the live. So, I mean, it's it, it's, I mean, I I love sci-fi anything almost. I mean, uh, but I I see this uh being a pretty good uh series. Yeah, if the, it agreed with most of what everyone has said, if done well, I mean, this will this could definitely dominate and get some subscribers on. Amazon Prime. I, I don't see any as long as they do it. You know, good writing, good acting, action. You know, yeah, works. It could be Amazon successful. Prime. They they have pretty good sci fi titles currently, I believe. So, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, uh, I think it'll be uh, actually great. If, I mean, if the the first two Mass Effects were just phenomenal, I'm pretty sure people will be watching it and be like, uh, like. Will they make this decision or that decision? You know, it's very interactive. So, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be great. Okay. And uh, next up, uh, I got this got this one uh, the other day. Next Halo game was leaked by Xbox Insider. Uh, next Halo has been leaked by uh, the magazine. The leak doesn't include any uh, eliminating details, word when the game or will release or other platforms they'll be on it's in development for xbox one series s series x and pc sorry only guys if it's releasing any other next several years according to the report 343 in the industries has been working on type of halo spinoff alongside the development of halo infinite so um i mean that's cool i mean obviously halo is gonna keep going um for years to come so i'm not really too shocked that this would come out now, I do think that the timing of this leak is not that great. Of course, with Halo Infinite coming out just next month, I mean, it is kind of bad timing. But it's no surprise to me to see that new Nef uh, Halo games will be created after Infinite. This is, you just can't end Halo. I mean, Halo is... A, I'm not going to say it's the strongest series anymore. I mean, maybe back on the uh, Xbox or 360 days it was. But now, of course, it's it's fighting to stay relevant right now. So... Um, I'm not too surprised that this this is happening, but um, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. What are your thoughts on this, uh, Lawrence? Um, again, I, I this is this is outside of my purview. I, I hear a lot of good stuff about Halo. I always have, but outside of that, that's all I've got. Okay. Uh, how about uh, Eisen? Anything? Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't <laughs> I haven't played Halo since Halo 2. Um, not really much into shooters much like that. Um, but um, uh, being it's got the, I guess, a standard, especially for Xbox, it'll, it'll, it'll probably do pretty decent. Uh, a lot of people like playing uh, first person shooters. Uh, there's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot. Uh, I think they probably did most they could as far as story wise. So It'll probably just uh, be just another, just another shooter, just with you know Halo elements. So, mm -hmm. uh, Swift, do you care about Halo at all? I mean, Halo is just Halo. If you're a diehard Xbox fan, you're gonna get the newest Halo games. So, it's just then if you raise quick, you're gonna get on Call of Duty and switch back and forth. It's it's just gonna do how it usually does. Mm -hmm. Nothing too special. Basically okay. the same game. And I think they're actually making a Halo live action series. I think, but I, I didn't I find I didn't look up look this up. But I think I, I heard that oh. briefly looking on social media like a couple of days ago. So there might be a new live action again. I, there was another one, but I don't think that one did that successful. Um, what are you? What are your thoughts on this, Trunks? If anything, uh, go ahead, Trunks. 
Oh, boy. oh, I actually um wanted to ask about what you just said. Like, how do video game live actions do? Because, like, I don't know. I don't play video games. They don't do that well. It's just like the live action. Except animes. for Witcher. Except yeah. for Witcher. Witcher kind of changed everything. But, yeah. Yeah. I'd say Witcher. Yeah. Good, yeah, good example. Oh, okay. I will add the best ones were Double Dragon and Street Fighter. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> Double dragon. No, they were there. <laughs> I mean, it's classic. I mean, if you yeah, if you look at the times, they were they fit right with the times. At the time, I think great. it blew people away. But uh, you know, after if you were a diehard fan, you was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, based on the time, it, I think I, I would say the best one that I've ever seen that came close was the first Mortal Kombat. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would yeah. definitely agree mm. with that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, as far as it goes for adaptations, that at least for the times, just like Eisen said, because you gotta you gotta always remember what yeah. time frame you're in. But Mortal Kombat, I would say, was the best that was done out of that time frame. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay Wolf says live action games do bad. Look at the recent Mortal Kombat. Well, that's true. The recent Mortal Kombat did oh, not do yeah. too well, oh. which yeah. was actually oh, surprising. Yeah. Uh, we actually did you a know, watch it's party. Weird on though. Yeah, the I, story was kind of like it, you know, they kind of did like when you make a creator character <laughs> and the, the one, you know, individual is like, you know, building up like, you know, hey, you got to do this. Or, oh, now you got like a cool move. Now you got to finish your move. They, they went that route. But I have to definitely give props to Sub-Zero because it seemed like Sub-Zero held that film together <laughs> the i'll say that movie the what the first what 15 minutes were great mm. <laughs> and after that it had <laughs> it didn't have much else to live up to yeah i would I would, I would agree with that i would i would agree 100 percent with that yeah uh it just it just went to show the, the type of actor that uh gosh i can't even think of his name now but He's a he's a good actor and uh, and the whole you could just see it was elements that he was very comfortable with and uh, how they just had that whole scene played out it was it was awesome uh, storytelling yeah. just you know with the action itself and uh, what little uh, words had to be said there but after that you know <laughs> there was nothing but left you know that could live up to it but you know what I they the so video game adaptations on live you know movie screens they're you know they're, they're interesting to look at and i definitely think halo will be uh one of them um i think we had halo origins or was it halo yeah was, halo origins or halo like, legends or one of those yeah that, i actually like that one it, how it even blended in uh some anime in it as well so right um i could see the leak uh being like kind of like a big thing because i mean it's i I, I enjoyed all the Halos, really. So, okay. uh, so if you said something, I was gonna say, I'm not lie. I think you can find better, like, I don't know if animators is the word, but like the quality of the fights in Mortal Kombat weren't that good to me after like the first and the last one. Okay, in between was talking this. about the recent Mortal Kombat, right? That one, right? you could find something way better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. Um, I agree with what you guys are saying. I mean, pretty much. I you uh, find some YouTube animator. Damn. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, it wasn't that great. I mean, uh, I think Sub Zero and Scorpion. <laughs> I'm was, serious. Uh, 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 there was some dumb shit in that movie. I mean, I, we roasted the hell out of that movie when we watched it anyway. So it was it was fun roasting though. But uh, what's your thoughts, um, ideas on um the new Halo game? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, cool. Um, yeah, my thoughts on the Halo game. Uh, I don't really have much to say. Uh, I'm curious to know though. Um, if it will be Xbox exclusive or it'll also be on the PC. Uh, because Xbox doesn't have any. Uh, oh, I look, just looked at that's on a government PC. 
it's going to be on both. So yeah, they got no exclusives. People have no reason to buy it, and people are still buying it. So uh, uh, I'll probably when I get my PC, I'll probably check it out because I've never played a Halo. Game. <laughs> Uh, Trunks, I don't think I got to you. Any thoughts? On I know you don't play video games. Any thoughts, though? Um, on the Halo thing? Yeah. Um, no, I, I just had that one question for you. Um, I, I've played Halo a couple times, and I guess it was fun to play with friends. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, that's about it. I don't, I don't know. Okay, gotcha. Uh, next up, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, release date, trailer, and cast, and more. Uh, Swift, go ahead. Hey, right. yeah, you got the new JoJo coming out this Wednesday. You can find it on Netflix. I actually think this season is gonna be pretty good because I I seen what happens in the manga. Only thing that I've seen, the only backlash I've seen for this is that um, there's a lot of cliffhangers in the manga. So if you're reading it in real time, you'd have to wait each week. Huh. But with Stone Ocean for Part Six. Mm -hmm. You don't. You can just go straight to the next episode, and just binge watch it the whole. However many episodes, it might be like forty, fifty. But it's gonna do good, cause it's JoJo. You know how JoJo fans are. Um. So. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. Can you hold off for me until I come back? I have. I have to step away for a few minutes. Okay. Oh yeah. No problem. I, I'm. I'm sorry about that, guys. I. I'll try and be back as quick as I can. No problem. <clears throat> Anything else, Swift? You good, man? Nah, that's it. Okay. Um, go ahead, Trunks. Um, I've only seen like ten episodes of JoJo, and I I plan to see more. Um, but yeah, no, I liked it. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have a lot to say, but I'm already a JoJo fan. Ten episodes in, so. Um, I guess I'm looking forward to this new release that I'll see in a couple years after I'm like finished watching all the other JoJo um series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh when I saw the announcement about part six coming, I'm like because I think I was around I ha I didn't finish part five, so I was like, crap, I gotta catch up. You know, just in case I wanna do um content on it. So I caught up. I didn't really enjoy part five like that. And, and honestly, like the drive to finish part five was because part six was coming out. I'm like, I, I got to see what part six is about. So I'm hoping it's better than what I saw from part five. Um, it looks dope. And, you know, usually JoJo does pretty well when it comes to uh, viewers and stuff like that. So um, it's, it's shocking that it's coming out so soon. I guess time goes fast. I mean, um, next, this week will be December in a couple of days. So um, I'm expecting good turnout from this um, JoJo part uh, six. Uh, what are your thoughts, Omega? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, my thoughts, uh, definitely I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've always, like, I've read some of the manga and, uh, definitely, uh, been just like, uh, it, it's just like an amazing kind of story because the way it starts off and it's like, it's going like generations, you know, through one family. So, yeah, I, I, I look forward to it, especially the the uh, individuals. Uh, the what's her name? Uh, Jolene. Her her. That's uh, Jolene. Yeah, Jolene. Yeah, her uh, her attitude while she's in like uh, prison, you know, like or just kind of like um, like abrupt. You know, very uh um I don't know, she's she has that weird edge almost similar to uh Jotaro, so Oh but, uh, that reminds me. Huh? Oh that go reminds ahead, me of something. Lawrence Lawrence is, is gone, but Jolene, she actually has like part of the part of the um Wonder Woman theme in her own theme, if that makes sense. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Like if you listen to her, thing, oh, that is you can hear the Wonder Woman part. Wow. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts, yeah, Isaac? But, uh... Okay. Um, I really do. I guess I really don't have anything. I, I just never really got into JoJo's like it. So. <laughs> okay. 
I'll be honest though, it's not. I wouldn't say it's that easy to get into it. I don't think it's easy like Dragon Ball or uh, Naruto. I think it's actually harder to get into JoJo. Oh, why is that? Uh, it's over top. I feel like it's over the top, um, and I feel like you have to pay attention to it. If you're watching it in subs, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you have to pay a lot more attention to any other compared to any other show, at least in my experience. And you gotta start off with the first. I mean, if you get, I mean, you don't have to. You know, some oh, people say, "Oh, you could just jump in," but uh, like, no, nah, you'll yeah. be no, nah, bro. Start like, part one. You gotta start part one. Part one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah. Thing. yeah. 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 Like if if you can push through part one, you'll be straight for the rest of the way until you get to like part five in the middle of part five <laughs> when things like yeah. get stagnant really because you can skip episodes in part five and nothing really is gonna happen that you missed until you get towards the end. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll say but, as long as you get through part one, you're straight. Part one feels like the longest. Yeah, part one does feel like the longest, but I I will say this it. It really sells you on bizarre. I mean, and some of the techniques and strategies to actually where you think you're defeated and you're not is kind of interesting in a way. Like there's, it's just bizarre. Like, I mean, it, it definitely, it, it keeps you on a cliffhanger and you have to really think like, well, what, why would they do that? And like, oh, that's why that, per so yeah, it, it it's not, like um i would say just like oh it's an easy watch I mean, it, it gets you it gets you actually thinking you know mm -hmm. but it, it's just it's just bizarre <laughs> i think another thing oh. with jojo oh go ahead Who, who's uh who said that no, oh, oh no i was just gonna quickly say that um i don't know like the art style is like really different that's what like really drew me in that first yeah, I was about to add yeah. to, to add to that. Yeah, that the art style and just the way they did the animation and with the their theme of colors is just on. It's like a really good idea. It makes it yeah. different. It makes yeah. it stand out. It's not really. It's not dull or anything. It just pops right in front of the screen. So that's that's Ooh. another thing about Jojo, Jojo that really sticks out um, compared to other series. Now another series that kind of does it like Jojo would be like um, Aditi's um, Dayton. Which was a seasonal anime that came out uh, fall. Well, no, I think summer. Yeah, that animation is kind of like um, JoJo, but yeah, JoJo really I sound a kick when it comes to animation and coloring and theme. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Bro, all of the JoJo hmm? characters are why are like all the JoJo characters like just Chad level? Like, why do they draw all of them as Chad? Why they all have jawlines? Oh, oh, you mean like yeah, large like... necks and bulging biceps? <laughs> no, yeah, but, yeah. yeah the, the no, it's, it's like um... once you get the part four, it all goes away. Oh, well, yeah, it it, it does. Okay. It it follows heavily over. Uh, I believe the creator is the one that made uh, Fist of North Star. That's what I was thinking. Right. Like Fist of North Star or um, yeah. those other fighter really uh, series. This, yeah, Fist of North Star is pretty old. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm it, it yeah. But you know what? It's it after like uh, a gentleman just said uh, after season four, it does change a bit. Like you see more characters become very slender. I mean, the poses are still. I mean, that's 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 the fire right there. <laughs> there are certain poses that are just astonishing. Actually, going into actually uh, combative moves, you know. Mm -hmm. Within a pose, so. Um, did everyone say their thoughts on JoJo? I think did we get everyone. I think that makes all of us. Yep. Okay. All right. So next up, Full Metal Alchemist creator to unveil new series this year. Uh, go ahead, Trunks. Okay. So, um, well, I mean, I liked Full Metal Alchemist. It was pretty decent, not my favorite, but. I, I will still watch this new series just because. Um, okay, so I'm just think of, thinking of, like, how to, like, best just, like, just summarize this. Um, well, yeah, I don't know. Um, Yo, Trump, your audio, your audio is fucking up. You, like... 
Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, you're you're Borgen. Hello. You're, Skynet. Can you hear me? Yeah. Your mic is messing up. Hello. Guys. Say something. Guys. Hello. Okay, you're good now. You sound good now. Hello. Yeah, you're good. Okay, great. Yeah. Terminator. Yeah, so I'm not sure how to stop. Hello. Yeah, you're good. Can you all? I yeah, think you got this struggle oh, Wi-Fi going or something. No, I'm not sure how yeah, to. Yeah, I can still hear it too. Yeah. <laughs> I knows it. Oh, Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. third <laughs> third world country problems. No, oh, you're you're fine. Good. Fine. Alright. Um. No, um, I don't know really how to summarize this article. There's just a new series coming out um, mm-hmm. by the same guy who did Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I don't know how to like really summarize the article, but it seems like it's not really going to be tied into the Full Metal world itself, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, so uh, this you might... guys could just look into that one little opinion uh yeah full metal if you haven't seen yeah. full metal you should definitely watch it uh i'd say yeah. watch brotherhood yeah i don't really care about watching the original but i think brotherhood's a little bit better uh actually oh, mm-hmm. wait, wait can i just quickly interject on that um i will say that after watch if you do watch brotherhood watch conquer of shambhala because a lot of people don't watch that but that's actually the real ending to uh brotherhood so you have to watch the movie, otherwise, uh, Brotherhood won't make sense. Oh crap! Yeah, I didn't even yeah. know they had a movie. Yeah, no, that's that's the real ending. Um, it doesn't end at Brotherhood. Oh, okay, sure, <laughs> didn't know. Yeah. All right. Um, cool. Uh, thoughts, uh, ideas on a new series from uh, Full Metal uh, creator? Anything? Uh. I'm looking forward to more information. Uh, everyone raves about uh, how good this show was and the manga. Mm-hmm. I was never really interested in it, but uh, I'll give the new series a shot, though, for sure. Okay. Uh, Swift, what do you think? Yeah, I've never really saw Full Metal Alchemist. As long as they don't pull a fairy tale to where it's the, it's a different story in the same way i guess it's all right okay well, what do you think aizen <clears throat> yeah be waiting on uh i guess more information um brotherhood wasn't that bad i didn't get to finish it but i, I guess i need to uh but uh it wasn't too bad um but yeah i really i guess want to see more information and what they have in store yeah, I would say that yes, I st- I would definitely strongly recommend the series. Uh, at least one watch through, at least for anyone who's into anime. I think you can watch it at least try it out. Um, and I think it's pretty much got good reviews so far. I don't know what the score is on my anime list, but it's I'm pretty sure it's actually number one. It's actually number one. Can you believe that? It's number one. What? Where? Of like of all time, my anime list. Oh. Really? Oh, go figure. Yeah, number one out of anything ever. But, I mean, obviously I don't personally agree with it, but, you know, it just... I, I mean, I think it's... I can see why people would put it as they're, their number they're one. They're casuals. But... <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> obviously, I'm more of a Naruto fan. Okay. But yeah, um, you know, props to uh, Full Metal. Um, and when it drops, new series drops, I'm ready for the trailer. Um, we'll cover it. Yeah, we'll Heck definitely, yeah, definitely, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely uh, tackle it. All right, so next one uh, we got is uh, One Piece uh, film red trailer got released. Uh, at least I think the release date came out. Uh, let's see here. So, and this is for you, Adias. So you can go ahead and give us your first thoughts. Uh, yeah, yep. So the One Piece film Red trailer has been released, and um, it's pretty much all but confirmed that uh, this will be about Shanks. We're finally going to get some more information about him after the 1,000 chapters, and not 1,000 episodes, and the 1,000 chapters uh, in the same year. Started off the year of the chapter. So um, heading into 2022, it'll be released in August. And uh, if you look at the logo as well, you even see the the scars, his signature scars in the D. So we're going to get some information about Shanks. It may even be 
the first can one piece film uh and um yeah uh i'm i'm excited for it we're going to get more information as time goes along and uh there's a lot of speculation about what it could be about in particular because shanks is not the only character with regards to the color of red of course um aces are uh, i don't want to give any spoilers uh so yeah uh this will probably bring in a big bridge between the ending of one piece which will be coming soon uh there are a few more places that uh it has to go to and i believe that all the three places involve shanks and they've been foreshadowing a meetup between him and luffy for quite some time so maybe we'll get it here Okay, so you mentioned that all the other One Piece films are not canon or filler? Uh, I don't think they're full canon. I, I could be wrong on that. I'll go ahead and fact, fact check that right now. Okay, yeah, because I, uh, I haven't watched any of them. But as, as far as I know, as far as I know, they're not canon. Oh, interesting. Um, But um, I, I yeah, believe there's either one or, two, one or two, one or two movies that are that are canon. Oh, okay. I can't remember. There's one or two specific ones. Okay. Because it was one. I, I can't remember. I can't. No, remember. I'm on the. Uh, there's one of the dudes on the that joined. There's one of the dudes that joined Blackbeard. On the... Go ahead. I'm saying. Oh. oh, I was saying there's one of the dudes that joined Blackbeard. And he had a movie. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, okay. Because they made a movie about him, and that gave more depth into his character. Because the episodes never really talked about him. And then there was one more. Mm -hmm. uh, my opinion on this... As far uh, as from what I can see... Mm -hmm. Uh, just real quick, as far as from what I can see, uh, Strong World is the one that made the most intentional effort to tie in with manga's storyline, but it's not officially canon. Uh, but, uh, uh, go ahead. Yeah, this is a quick opinion. Um, You know, One Piece has been successful for, what, almost a decade now? <laughs> so anything they release, I'm not really worried about because usually it seems to be doing well. Although I will say I will say that One Piece's video games are not that great compared to Dragon Ball Z's, but movie wise, I think I don't hear really much complaints about their movie. Um, I'm pretty sure this will do uh, just fine, but that's my quick little um, take on that. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, uh, Eisen? Uh, I guess uh, like I said, not a whole lot. I really don't know a whole lot about One Piece, but um, you know, I know it's uh. <laughs> been going on they what they recently just had their thousandth episode so it'll probably be a big one for them um a lot of fans will probably uh enjoy it, so okay uh omega any thoughts um i i haven't been a big uh fan of one piece uh i've watched several like episodes but i i didn't get too much into it but it, it was good to me but I definitely think around uh, the character Shanks. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's going to be kind of interesting, just based on what he is like a like an inspiration. So, yeah, I I, I think it's going to be a, a very interesting year for uh, diehard fans in the One Piece uh, saga. Uh, Trunks, any thoughts? Die Hard One Piece fan here. I cannot wait. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all so, right. So wait, is this coming out in movies or like straight to release on DVD or something? Bro, I I would be so happy if it came out on uh, like in actual theaters and shit. Because you know, uh, the My wait, Hero so film. Still got the DVD player, bro. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> Windows XP. Uh, I mean on Blu-ray. On Blu-ray. <laughs> on Blu-ray. God. Hey, hey, oh bro. wait, 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 hey, wait. Technically DVD, wait. Man. Technically, the PS5 and the Xbox are Blu-ray players and DVD players though. Technically. 
Oh god. Okay. They included okay. that feature for the Windows XP. But yeah, straight to Blu-ray. Blu-ray. All right. But yeah, um, what I was gonna say was the My Hero film did pretty well in the box office in Japan. Forgot the numbers for it, but the recent one did pretty well. Still haven't seen it yet. I plan on doing some type of video with that, but um, ho hopefully this goes out in theaters because that's. I mean, this is gonna make mad bank in um, box office. I'm sure if it goes out in Japan, and it's one piece, so it should go straight to theaters likely. So much yen, man. So yeah, much. like we're. I'm definitely gonna um keep my eyes on this once it comes out and see how much it makes, and we can talk about it again. But I'm I'm just predicting big numbers in Japan. We should be able to see millions of cosplayers as pirates, basically, when this drops. Oh, God. Right, right. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 oh, I, I do ahead. want to mention, too, really, really, really quickly. The director is uh, Goro Tanaguchi, mm -hmm. who directed the Kogias uh, film that came out in 2019. And... Uh, I want to say he did the one that came out in 09 as well. Uh, he's been, he's got a lot of experience. Uh, he did Gun Gun Sword as well. Ooh, and nice then one. the writer is uh, Su uh, Sutomu Kuroyo. Uh, he wrote the Black Butler movie and he wrote the Kingdom movie, uh, 2019. Uh, the live action one. So uh, those are a good writer, good director combo. I think it'll be excellent. Yeah. Okay. Big One Piece fan like Trunk said, I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. I I'm definitely sure this is going to do well. Um, but uh, this, we're going to do a quick commercial break. Quick commercial break. Four minutes. We'll be back. So go get some popcorn or drink some water or something. I don't know. Stretch. Do we got to do four minutes? So we'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Adulkin! Energy power. Your soul is mine. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. Fuck the clock! Tyrannosaurus! So fine. Or the stone pudding or something. I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this bicarbonate of fig leaf. Yo me get it! Give me that But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pipes. Your soul is mine. By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Why so serious? Riddle me this. I haven't had a lot of company in a long time, but if I were expecting some, I'd whip up a really uh, substantial meal. You see how strong I am? <laughs> From eating all of this stuff. Orewa. Super Vegeta. Fuck the top. Tyrannosaurus. Yoga Rain. So fine. Your soul is mine. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Hadouken! It's the big one. Go contact it. Go! By your powers combined. Thunder. 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 Thunder.
with the force energy power. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. Riddle me this. So Why so serious? Yomigaret! Nebrate! Always winterize your pants. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. Why so serious? Yoga Rain. Hadouken! But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. By your powers combined. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Force energy power. True. That's true. <laughs> they were running out of. So it's just gone further down the toilet. That's true. So, now, now, now. They were starting to steal yeah. from manga. They was just so like, I, man, I, let's see what they do. But yeah, like I said, back. you know, when. Oh, you're back? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. All right. I hope you enjoyed your uh, popcorn water. <laughs> Maybe you did a nice yoga. I don't know. Hope you did something within those four minutes. Well, yoga okay. in four minutes. I don't All know right. about that. Um, I was doing my uh, classic Alex squats. You know, like when I crushed you and you know, street fucking. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> you trying to give me smoke? Uh oh. Wow. Uh -oh. Hey. Okay. Hey. You know, uh, Luke comes out tomorrow. So. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Soul about to get a new character and still lose. That's crazy. Okay, okay. okay. okay All I gotta so say is you're like zero and twenty. <laughs> All right. Hey man, I'm not. I'm not fighting game, dude. Okay. I'm All right. Fighting game. All right. So we're I'm back. Two K guy. Aku Jump Podcast Episode One. So next up, we got um, Electric Arts has reported shelf dice pitch for uh, Star Wars. Battlefront 3 and instead developing two new uh, single player games. Go ahead, uh, Aizen. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, anybody that uh, enjoyed the Battlefront games, well, you know, <laughs> you can uh, pretty much hang that up right now. Um, they pretty much said, you know, it just pretty much costs too much to deal with right now. Um, so they're looking at uh, developing two new single player games. Um, and one which is uh, they're likely to be a spinoff of Jedi, Jedi Fallen Order, which was really great. It was a great game, uh, best Star Wars game. That, that EA, you know, I, I was hoping EA would fail with it <laughs> so they could just lose everything all together. Mm -hmm. uh, but they actually made a good game in Jedi Fallen Order, and they've been just crapping all over everything. So everything else they had done with Star Wars. Uh, so we'll see what happens after that. But uh, uh, that's uh, as soon as we get more information on what the other one is, uh, we'll get, let you know. But uh, right now, uh, we know that one of them is likely to be the sequel of Fall, Fall in Order. Uh, I think it was just too good for them to kind of let that pass up. And uh, they had, they're had they probably going to follow behind it with something. So, Right. Uh, just my quick thoughts. Totally agree. Fall in Order was a great game. Uh, Multi-plat, all platforms could enjoy it. Um, great story, cool combat. It had what you needed to make a decent Star Wars game that was focused on Jedi gameplay. It was definitely good. It made a lot of money. So, yeah, sequel for Fallen Order. That's 
obviously going to be going to be happening in the future for these next gen consoles. Uh, but they did make a there was the so Kotar the remastered versions coming out, which I'm probably going to buy that again. Kotar one was amazing. Kotar is probably still the best uh, Star Wars game out there. Fallen Order is good, but Kotar one and two, yeah, I'm sorry. So hopefully that's a hopefully that's a Kotar three that comes out because I'm ready for that. Online is awesome too. Star right Wars and yeah and and uh yeah. yeah and on uh yeah and online's good as well. But um, uh Battlefront what the last one I a lot of people uh, bought it I think I'll, although I think there were some complaints about it, but overall it looked like it had a big player base from what I saw. So um, a new Battlefront three I, I could see that happening. Too. Um. So Star Wars, I think they're in a good direction right now with Fallen Order, and maybe with the new Kotar. Or well, what well, they're first are gonna do, they're gonna see how many people buy the Kotar remaster, which you know hopefully you know uh, old fans and uh, hardcore fans buy, and then they'll maybe they'll decide be the deciding factor on getting uh, creating Kotar three. But I think Kotar three is gonna happen. Um, so that's just my quick thoughts on that. Um, any uh, thoughts on this, uh, Lawrence? Uh, no, no, I, I got nothing. I am I'm familiar with Electronic Arts; they do good work. But outside of that, that's all I got. Okay, uh, Adias, anything? Oh yeah, yeah, this sounds great. Uh, I, I didn't like Battlefront Two. I had that on my PS4. I, I didn't like it. Uh, I didn't play the first or see any gameplay, but I thought that um, was it Unleashed back in the day it was a really good single player game, and if they could get back to that, um, sure. I'll enjoy it. Uh, so I love Star Wars, so it it'd be good to see it, you know, go back to its former glory. Mm-hmm. I realize I'm being a bit optimistic, but it is what it is. No, no, I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, heavily optimistic. I, I, but I get it, you know, being a Star Wars fan myself. So, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't see right now. Mm-hmm. Any thoughts, uh, Young Swift? Yeah, no, I've never really been into Star Wars like that. So, mm-hmm. okay. whatever happens, happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's Trunks. Oh, where did Trunks go? Ah, oh, shit. Did he get compromised? <laughs> I can, gonna have they to... got him. Damn, they got him. Damn. All right, come <laughs> back, Trunks. Uh, Omega, your thoughts? Going after him. Hold on, let me get in my tie fighter. No. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no. I. I. Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh. Junkie. So fanatic. So I. I, I haven't had a problem with any of the games that they put out. Uh. Oh. For PS4 and PS. Uh. Xbox. So. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. It might might have to not be a day one, but it definitely something that I will purchase. So, mm-hmm. oh, Trunks, you there? Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, I was backstage. I'm not sure why I was put there, but uh, or how I got there, but um, yeah, no, um, I'm not really much of a nerd. Not into Star Wars. Wait, hold on. Wait, uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh. I can't let this slide. No. Did you say I'm uh, not really much of a nerd, but you were nerding out over one piece? <laughs> Bro, one one piece of nerd doesn't count. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, yes, they do. Yes, Star Wars is for the nerd. That's for the nerd. Yes. Yes. Anime yeah. is still niche. You like no, watching a 12 year old no, kid bro. in an orange jumpsuit. Star Wars is for the nerdy kids, bro. Anime isn't. What? Star Wars? What? <laughs> hey, so he said it this time. Man, yeah, you need it. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I know. You didn't, you, didn't, you, you didn't say anything that was on Trump's. Yeah, only wacky tobacco. All right. Uh, who else? Yeah, it's Jar Jar Binks on right now. Okay. Did, did everyone say their thoughts on the new Star Wars I got uh, games? You, I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, next one: Why Image Comics is this regarding comic book workers united? I think this was part two to what you were going to, uh, Lawrence. Lawrence. All right. All right. He's compromised. Fuck. No, no. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Right. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're good. 
I'm sorry, that must have been something on my end. My apologies. Um, no, I was just going to follow up with uh, uh, Image's response to the whole situation with the union. Uh, that's what this article is about. Um, they had said in a statement that they always believe in fair and equitable treatment of staff and have always strived to support employees to the best of their abilities. Um, but they opted to bring in the National Labor Relations Board as a third party. <laughs> which means to me yeah they're taking these people seriously and i wouldn't that's 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 pretty much it they want to have a secret ballot election <laughs> that's just stupid but that that's pretty much it and we already spoke pretty much everything we had to say the first well at least i did all right let's get to this one next i got one from side here Share the screen and also be sure to like the video if you haven't already it definitely does help a lot subscribe if you're new and like i said i will be putting this on different audio formats for people who are watching it watching the playback so that option uh so uh, red notice to director confirmed sequel and talks with netflix there's a catch apparently uh, says red notice is the newest action comedy uh, with dwayne johnson ryan reynolds who did uh deadpool and Gal Gadot, who did Wonder Woman, on this adventure type, like, like I didn't even watch it. I was supposed to watch it. It looked like some type of like a heist type setting. That's what it looked like from what I saw the trailer. Um, so it says the movie was helmed by Ralston uh, Lubber. Not only had Netflix biggest opening day for any film, but also became the streaming service most watched movie. Okay, props, props to uh, Netflix. Despite the movie's weak <laughs> reviews from critics, audience seemed to be loving it. In fact, there's a Good chance that the movie will get a sequel during a recent chat with Collider. Lover T has some ideas. It says, quote, I'm not working on the script for a sequel. I've certainly been not, um, noodling uh, with what I would do for a follow-up, not to tell tale out of school, but yeah, Netflix is having those conversations. Um, I'm actually shocked this did well. I heard it sucked. I didn't hear people be really excited for that, but I did hear that um, they did promote this movie um well. Like I heard the marketing was good, but I didn't hear anyone like, too hyped after seeing this movie. But um, you know, once again, streaming services trying to be competitive with other streaming services, so I'm not too shocked. And you have a good uh little triangle combo here of Gal Gadot, Brian Reynolds, and Ben Johnson. I mean, I don't think we've seen a movie with these three in one single film. So that's my thoughts. Um, what are your thoughts, uh, Lawrence? movie guy i thought it sucked <laughs> okay okay you're, okay you're the guy i'm talking about that because that's what i heard i didn't hear anyone say oh it was great. amazing i didn't hear anyone say that no nah, i i thought it sucked and between the three of them i mean I, I didn't get the chemistry i didn't get the chemistry and it was a heist film one guy was chasing another dude who's who's a who's an art thief only to be caught up with her coming in and stealing it from both of them it, it was it did it, it, it there was nothing new there, man. It looked like a hodgepodge of the Thomas Crown Affair and any other heist flick you want to name all thrown in together to me. Um, like I said, I, I thought it sucked. I, I didn't, I thought that was a waste of my time. Um, any thoughts, uh, Trunks? I don't know if you saw this movie, but any thoughts? Um, no thoughts. Uh, didn't see what, what is Red Notice to? It was on that. I don't know. A lot of people may not even know about it, but um, the new movie that came out on Netflix, Al Gadot. Like uh, Lauren said, a heist movie. Um, bro, no. I, 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 don't, I don't know this stuff. Okay, any thoughts, uh, Young Swift, on this one? I don't know if you saw this either. Nah. I've never seen this. You said it's a heist movie? Yeah. Like, like GTA? Or like, I'd I'd say GTA is better than that, <laughs> and that's not even a movie. Oh, oh, that's that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, they had um, what you call it? Um, Mark Wahlberg and um, the brother from the Black Panther. Oh, there's eleven. No, 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 not that. that. No. Okay. I'm not, yeah, I mean, you're right if you're comparison to Red Notice, but I'm saying that um, there was a there was a new. Uh, flick on, on Netflix or something with Mark Wahlberg and his brother from Black Panther who played the the ape leader. I can't remember his name. Um, and they did a they did kind of like a cheesy remake of Spencer for Hire. I enjoyed that more. 
Mm. As again, and it was stupid and it was goofy, but at least it made me laugh. I enjoyed that more. Just trying to give, just trying to give a a, a comparison <laughs> to, to to how bad I thought that movie was. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd rather, I rather, I would rather watch rehashed Spencer for Hire than that movie. And you know that's the thing about these streaming services. Just because you know it's a Netflix original or oh, this is a Hulu original doesn't mean it's going to be a great movie. I mean, a lot of those movies tank, um, and hence they bring these big actors to the uh, streaming services platform. So. Um, not every movie does well on these services. So just because, you know, you get, you know, you might have like a good weekend that doesn't guarantee shit after that. I mean, a lot of these wouldn't even be released in a movie theater. I don't see how they could be. Right. And that's another thing. Some, some of them are not, don't even go to theaters. They stay, come here and maybe to get a Blu-ray and that's it. Pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Uh, any thoughts, uh, Eisen? Um, I'm guess you know after hearing this, I'm glad I didn't see it. Um, I really <laughs> haven't been interested in uh, anything heist wise since uh, White Collar, uh, which I watched. You know, pretty much almost all of that. So I'm good. Yeah, White Collar was good. Yeah, White, so was White Collar. White Collar was good. It really was. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Uh, any thoughts, uh, Adias? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, look, I. Typically enjoy Dwayne Johnson's films because I appreciate what they are. Uh, and I remember this one. I remember he said this was the largest investment Netflix has made in the film. Well, the truth is there are just some things that money can't buy, such as a good film because this was terrible. The first Thanks. one. Uh, it had foot chases, prison escapes, truck pursuits, long tunnels, fist fights, helicopters, gunplay, and explosions. And, and that's it. I can get that in any film today, yesterday, whenever. Uh, it was boring. Uh, the cast was, uh, the characters were irritating. It wasn't funny. And it was a comedy. So, I, and, and all those action scenes, none of those were executed in an exciting manner. Hmm. So I'm surprised that there's a sequel. I don't, I don't understand how they can get away with this. Yeah, it was, yeah no, I agree. It was boring. Like, like I said, the chemistry just wasn't there. And I've always found Ryan. I've always found Ryan Reynolds absolutely annoying. Anyway, except when he's playing Deadpool. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I agree. <laughs> ben, you said. I, I mean, up until Deadpool, the only thing I, you know, I, every time I seen Ryan Reynolds, the only thing I thought of was Van Wilder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, not to be funny, but that's how he comes across. Yeah. Actually, yeah, he really yeah. does. Uh, but you know, it's. Even though you know, I think of that when it comes to him, it it really kind of hits home when you have Dave Bautista say that he never wanted to work with John Cena or The Rock because they weren't that good. <laughs> well, well, te- well, technically or not, and eventually, where 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 Dwayne Johnson's concerned, you know, you get that thing where you get burnt out, yeah. tired of seeing him. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, he's, he's, he's kind of at that borderline for me. And I like him, I do, but he's he's kind of there for me right now. Yeah, well, I mean, he 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 hasn't. That's where you know, but Dave was right because he hasn't really um, done anything different. You know, I mean, every character is the same in every. He's the same guy. Yeah, yeah he's playing the same, same guy, guy so just he's... with a different name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got you. I he's right. He's right. I would agree with that. <laughs> Jay Wolf is yeah. like, so this movie is it a ten out of ten IGN? Man, IGN be capping on the reviews, man. I don't even trust IGN. Even. Hey, that's a big cap then. Yep. Well, yeah, IGN, gave you, IGN gave it a 10? No, he's just making a joke about how IGN be giving things 10s. Oh, oh okay. Because I was getting ready to say, man, we got a boycott. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, I'm going to just add this in. If you, if you want real reviews, come here. This is where you'll get the real truth. Yeah, I mean, we won't cap. No cap here. No you cap. You can't there. trust these websites anymore. Really, the get the honest truth is on the other side of a uh, other place. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so far the only cap so far we had is that anime isn't for nerds. But anyway, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, uh, Amiga, go you know, ahead. Okay. You got me. Uh, I just watched uh, Red Notice today. Okay, and um. I was actually uh, 
Don't do it. You, I actually liked it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I hate to be the person uh, that, that we're, 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 I think my only my only gripe was maybe the car chases could have been a little longer, but this isn't Michael Bay, of course. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, we, I we, actually we, we enjoyed it. The, day, the plot and the whole kind of uh, double cross here, double cross there kind of thing. Oh, oh these per- people work with these people. And, it was just like a big chase movie, so I I don't know I I actually I would if it came down to like the action packedness I would give it like a four. But the story was kind of interesting with them going from place to place, you know, like that kind of kept me intrigued. But um, of course, you know, a good old American cinema ain't nothing with saying that Germans are really good at hiding stuff. Especially the mean, nasty ones. <laughs> but uh, it, it, that the whole watch and the you know the vault thing, I I, I thought it was kind of interesting. So I, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I I want to put something in real quick. Uh, there is no way when I won't say there's no way, but we really shouldn't have been surprised because all of Netflix's fall blockbuster films have been very bad. I mean, let's look back at right and, and six underground and then they managed the director uh, is the guy behind dodgeball and we're the millers which were genuinely funny movies and mm-hmm. the rock was or Dwayne was built as a guy that was supposed to be the biggest action comedy guy of this generation not, not quite exactly but similar to a, a jackie chan was in the early 2000s but uh, I don't know how a, a, a guy as charismatic as him could just be in so many boring films. I just don't um, know how. Nah, bro, please, please don't compare The Rock to Jackie Chan, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying how they blur the lines yeah, I would actually comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I would not compare those two. But I have something yeah, to add. I, I'm saying, the, I'm saying how their films blur the lines of those genres in their blockbusters. That's all. Yeah, yeah. but but that's what he's the, that's he's the biggest guy I'm doing, doing that right now. Yeah, I I can see that, but I don't know personally. Like, I'm not a comedy fan. Um, I don't find comedy very <clears throat> funny. Um, so I don't know. I but I like action, and I don't like how they're blending the lines. Like, I don't like the direction that The Rock is taking it personally. But I mean, that's just me. Yeah, I did want. Well, I know. Uh, oh, go ahead. I I was, I was gonna say, you know, looking at looking at how how his work's been in the last couple of films he's been in makes me a little worried about Black Adam. So, you know, because because yeah, I, I, I I can see I, I I can see him <laughs> trying to bring comedy to it. You know, you know what I mean. I, I, just, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, well, I'm, they, I'm did, they did that for Shazam. So. Yeah, but but Shazam is supposed to be goofy. Like it's a kid, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a kid in an adult's body. It's supposed to be goofy. Right. But Black Adam is a grown adult who killed Shazam's parents to become like Black Adam. Been living so, since so he's, he's long, not supposed to be goofy at all. <laughs> yeah, he's not supposed to be yeah. goofy at all. And as far as it goes for Omega, the fact that he liked this movie, we're gonna have to move that fight up to next year, bro. <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I heard it. You about to cut the flight? You about to cut the flight line? <laughs> you know what? Yep. You know, I, I might just drive in 30 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah I, I, you know, I, I, I would expect to get some pushback, but I did. I, 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 I liked it for the fact that, like, the, the comedy wasn't i don't know they didn't lay it on thick but it was just the whole like mystery thing like what what's up with these a's in the first place but it's like i i just like the subtle notes of like oh the the bait was switched here or this person is like you know not who they say they are i mean they they try to make it even to a point where it was like teaching a lesson based on teamwork you know, but uh, I don't know. I I I kind of got the vibe between like uh, like the old Indiana films. You know, just yeah. a, they they didn't really go all the way out with uh, like on on that level. 
but I, I don't know when they when they got that um like like the whole kind of underground bunker and car and stuff I, I thought that was awesome yeah i was gonna add because you you mentioned it being like a, a movie that's based on you know like a chase right and, I, yeah. and I would say in my opinion the best chase movie i would say is um no country for old men that's technically oh heck yeah a chase movie that and that's that, that movie was done so well i mean i could probably rewatch that any day like if i really it wanted was, to it was like non-stop and almost like it had this surrealness to it like the tone of the music and right it was an action it, movie. It was a western. It was a chase movie. It was all, all these items combined and into a movie. It was great. Yeah, I, I had no parts in that movie where I felt like ah, this is dragging on. But I, I you know, I, I got a little bit, a bit of that from um, Red Notice. But um, overall, mm. I, I, I enjoyed it. Okay. I don't. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, I guess. <laughs> No, no. I'm, I mean, I'm not trying. I'm not. Tr I'm not trying to drag it on. It's just that I, I, I'm. I'm at this place now where, you know, if I go pay for a movie, I don't want to just enjoy ten minutes of this scene, five minutes of that scene, and by the time I walk out, I paid all that money for fifteen minutes out of a two-hour movie. That pisses me off. You feel gypped, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I, so, 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 saying there were some good scenes in it, I get that. But at the same time, I didn't pay for a couple of good scenes. I paid for a whole damn movie. You you wanted the whole roller coaster. You didn't want the just yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want I want story. I want substance. I want style. I want good explosions. I want good drama. I want good acting. I want good script. Or I want all of it. I don't want to just like sit here and say, eh, it was okay. There was these two moments that was cool. Uh, nah, I, I don't yeah. know, man. Yeah, I, I'm so I'm sorry. I went off on a tangent. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I agree. agree. I mean, this, I agree. This is uh, we need this. <laughs> now you're good. All right, next up, Demon Slayer, uh, season two, release date, episode details, everything. Uh, go ahead. Uh, what was this? Uh, Trunks, this was yours. Yeah. Was it? Okay. Um, yeah, so I haven't even watched season one, but I'm excited for season two to come out. Um, yeah, I, I plan to watch a Demon Slayer, but um, I don't know. Like, you know how you're, like, a fan of this show and, like, you haven't even watched it yet? And that's me. Yeah, so, uh, -oh. uh, the Mugen train arc actually ended, the finale actually ended today with episode 7, so, uh, yeah. Demon Slayer Season 2, the real, like, entertainment district will be coming out pretty soon, I think, next week or so. So, I think, you know, some people didn't like the Mugen train arc, uh, because it was, you know, people already watched it from the movie. I understand that, but, um... I don't know. I just watched it all, all over again. But uh, yeah, I'm ready for it. Uh, it's going to be exciting. And I think basically this is going to be competing with JoJo Part uh, 6, actually. So really? it's going to be interesting it's to see uh, them go for, you know. Winning. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, you're, you're, you're probably right. So if, uh, go ahead. What, what are your thoughts? No, see, Demon Slayer messed up for season two already. I'm starting with the Mugen Train arc. They yeah. messed up by doing that because they're they're a seasonal anime. It's not like they can get away with it like Dragon Ball Super sort of did, and they still got backlash with like the Battle of God movie and the Frieza movie. Because Dragon Ball Super they didn't do seasons; it was ongoing to the end. So you only got what like twenty four, twenty five episodes in Demon Slayer. So Demon Slayer messed up with that. He it's gonna be interesting how they do that because you can train is already you can train is already seven episodes are they gonna add an additional 20 or are they gonna to try to do oh let me just do 13 since we already have seven from the you can train arc i don't i don't know how they're gonna do that. no they'll, they'll do like 13 they'll do 13 and 13 some oh, that's 13 12 and 12 12 and 13 something like that huh. okay you get to 24 25 episodes in the season uh, what what are your thoughts? Do, uh, I don't think it's gonna like have an impact. Uh, what are your thoughts, uh, Eisen? Anything? Um, I'm kind of interested to see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, kind of hate hearing that. You know, they spent seven episodes on on a movie that they already did. Even though I like the movie, but um, 
you know, that part sucks. But um, I'm interested to see what what they're actually else what they're gonna bring in the rest of the episodes in the second season. Yeah. And basically, I mean, the the the, the catch twenty two was it was like movie DLC, which so basically like if you didn't watch the movie, you could have watched this little seven episode thing and been okay. But uh, you could each watch either one, but you didn't need to watch both. That was kind of the thing, which didn't really make sense, right? But um, I think either way, it's still dominating. Demon Dem- Slayer is still doing pretty well in Japan. But yeah, like you said, uh, Swift, I-, I think part six is going to dominate in this coming month. Uh, any uh, thoughts on this, Lawrence? Lawrence? All right. Uh, any thoughts, ideas? Yeah, uh, none, none for me. Uh, I haven't watched Demon Slayer. It's not really my speed. Um, but I will comment on the steam that has been picking up, and uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's starting to pop. I mean, a lot of casuals that I know in real life uh, speak about it. So I'm curious to see where this goes, uh, or if it's gonna. You know, if its popularity will end shortly, I've seen a lot of runs in my day. So I'm wondering if this Demon Slayer hype is just a a, a hot run or what have you. Mm-hmm. Now, J Wolf has a good question: Is Demon Slayer overhyped? Good question. Um, I think yes. it is. To yep. me, it is absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, without spoiling it, For why do you think brings... it's overhyped? It's animation carries it. Without its animation, like the story doesn't really bring anything. The characters are relatively basic. It's just, eh. It's just an eh, anime based off the story. Oh, yeah. the fights yeah. are cool, but yeah, I would agree. It, it, the animation is what's carrying that show. It has good fights. But I think you're losing a lot when it comes to like character. Um, oh, yeah, the Miss Bad. I think you're only focusing on a couple of handful of characters and not enough. Like compare that to like Yu Hakusho or something. I don't think you can compare that. Oh, oh no, you can't. That's just right. Yu Yu Hakusho's goaded. Right. Great. I'm not saying Demon Slayer's not a bad show. I'm just saying it's not. I wouldn't put it. Maybe in my top 30, it'd be there somewhere, but not in my top 10. I don't think so. Yes. Okay. Um, Nowhere close. I, and I'll give my opinion before you go, Trunks. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I, I just think that it's extremely, extremely, extremely mediocre. Uh, <laughs> and fantastic animation does not overcome mediocre writing, mediocre character development, or uh, unfunny comedy in the shonen mm-hmm. genre. Uh, you can't just have good animation. And it has good animation. It has great fight choreography. And it has some some, some decent villains. But the dialogue is, is awkward. And it undercuts the action. And two-thirds of it is action. And one-third of it is out-of-place comedy. It's just not good. It's very mediocre. Mm-hmm. Nothing... Nothing revolutionary. Got you. Um, well, I guess I will be watching Demon Slayer, and uh, I'll give my opinion next time. I guess a piece of Demon Slayer news comes out. But this is a little bit off topic. But I've heard people say they don't like one the art in One Piece. Like, could we just quickly go over that? Like, like what's wrong with it? I, I don't see it. But the current arc? People who don't no, no, like no, no, the no, art no, in One Piece, in general. The people who don't like the art in One Piece never oh, got the past the first few arcs. They they never got past the first few like uh, stories in One Piece because the art gets gradually better, and then, yeah. but especially post time skip, it, it's beautiful. But yeah. the first yeah, exactly. few, what? The first I few never understood that. Are t- tr- trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first, the <laughs> first like watch. twenty episodes were trash in animation. Though. Maybe even no, the first think- thirty. I think that's what made it good, though, in my opinion, that it the art was bad at first, and then it just got better. I don't know that 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 was like actually one of the selling points for me. Funny enough, 
Well, like, I don't know why, but I liked it that way. And then you have to consider the age of One Piece, though. I mean, it's an old ass series. What is it, 10 years old at least? 10 years? Yeah. Bro, it's like. When did it come what? out? No, it's like more than that, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm 20. 1990s. 1990. Bro, that's like, yeah, it's older than me. So, I mean, it, it's aging. That's why, you know, it, it's improving as it goes along, right? So. Yeah, that's the great thing about, about it, though. Yeah, it grows with you. Yeah, you know, exactly. Uh, One I... piece is my childhood and it's my adulthood. Yeah, they're, they're saying, oh, yeah. What, yeah. what? Did you find a year of the anime? Oh, yeah, it's 1999. Like, goddamn. Yep. Yeah, bro. Nine, I was nine born years in 2000. old. <laughs> There's all night it started. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's my. Uh... And unlike Go Demon ahead. Slayer, uh, Demon Slayer has the worst writing in a big budget anime ever. Uh, and you can just skim the Wikipedia summary and then watch the action scenes on YouTube and, and then that's it. I think you'll get the full experience. Uh, so it's the reverse of Demon Slayer in my opinion. Because in mm -hmm. Demon Slayer, you have to deal with bad writing to enjoy great animation. Whereas with One Piece, you have to deal with bad animation to enjoy at amazing first. writing. And it's at first, yes. But I don't know, even, even the first, like, um... 30 20 episodes or so where the animation is terrible i don't know why but i just like it that way bro i just like it that way um i don't know it just looks kind of like retro-ish to me and then it's like at the beginning and then like now the animation's amazing and it's just i don't know i like that transition bro that's like one of my favorite things about it that's a good point like you like um like adia said you know as a uh, grows with you and you know Look back from when it first started, like everyone yeah, was younger. Exactly, it's cool. Exactly. I don't mind that, but yeah, I think Demon Slayer has the same issue that Seven, Seven Deadly Sins had, where you have great animation and maybe some good uh, visuals, but mm -hmm. that's all that it's that that that's holding that series on, at least the anime. Okay, got it. So you'd put in the category of uh, Seven Deadly Sins, which I have seen. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I give it four out of five stars because, uh, or like three and a half out of five stars or something, because like, I love the fight scenes and animations and stuff. But the, and also like the characters, some of them are quite entertaining, but some were questionable. But other than that, um, yeah, I don't know the storyline. It just didn't hit. Like it just to me, it just didn't have like a very good plot. Yeah, so I would put Demon Slayer in that one. In. Not bad. Gotcha. But... Uh, I will put Demon Slayer in the category. Isn't gonna love this one. Uh, in Star oh, Wars, shit. the Last Jedi. No, bro. No. Uh, oh wait, 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 no. wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> he said Last Jedi. It's okay. Last Jedi sucked. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Last Jedi. Great fight choreography. You know, great CGI, great visual spectacle, the writing and shit. To me, that's that's what I call junk food anime. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I don't know of anything uh, past uh, six of them. So I, you know. Okay, you're talking six about Star Wars movies. Yeah, I, I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's that's a good way to think. <laughs> that's actually a good. Uh, I think. <laughs> All right. Uh, shout out to uh, Sigma Jones in the chat. What's up, Sigma? Yo, what's good, Sigma? Yo, Sigma Jones. All right. So next up, My yep. Hero Academia season six poster teases a brutal uh, teases a brutal battle. Go ahead. Uh... All right. Basically, got Deku right here and got Shigaraki. Teas teasing a little. It's not a final battle because they're not even there in the manga yet. But. They they go through some stuff in this next season. They go through some stuff. You know, Deku, he gets his little... He cheats. He gets his his bunch of quirks. Jake Rocky. He, he has a lot of stuff up his sleeve. I'll, I'll just put it like that. You can't, you can't spoil too much with Jake Rocky, but Jake Rocky a beast now. But yeah, there's a war coming soon in My Hero. So, all everything from like season five and season four... I think season six is gonna make up for it. Um, what do you think, uh, Mega? Have you uh, watched My Hero Academia or anything? 
Um, I watched a few episodes of it, and uh, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was pretty good. Um, this uh, sixth season should be uh, uh, amazing. So, yeah. Um, I think I might have only watched maybe five episodes of the first season. Mm. But the um I don't know, it's just it's it's just a really good anime people um obviously like a lot and I mean it's trendy so seems like Deku though is uh uh loved by a lot <laughs> a lot of people so huh. yeah, this this should uh this should be very good. Uh what do you think, uh Trunks? Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Well, okay, okay. Um, yeah, um, I guess I'm excited for it. Um, I stopped watching, um, My Hero Academia after, I don't know, like, season four or five or something after a really big battle. I don't want to, like, spoil anything for anyone who's watching right now. Can I say it? No, no, no. It's something that <laughs> happened, I think, a season ago. Oh, like season five, season four? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Season four or five, like that's where I left off. Uh, if it's season, season, if it's season four, it's not bad. It that's happened what. a good bit ago. It happened like a while ago. Okay, go ahead. It shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's where um Deku fights. What's that? That guy. Um, and then he gets like basically killed after, or he gets his powers taken away after. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names. Um, you're, not, you're not the only one, man. Too many characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, damn it. What's what's that guy's name? Um, the dude Deku fights the the. He's protecting uh the little girl. Oh, you're thinking of Overhaul? You're thinking yeah, of yeah, Overhaul? Yeah, 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 yeah. Overhaul. Yeah, that's where I stopped. That's where I stopped watching it because I heard it just goes downhill from there. Is that true? Now. I mean, season five was half was well, not even half. I feel like a quarter of it was great, but the other rest of it wasn't. So, it was just a bunch of training. I, I think the villain arc, villain academia, arc was great, but it was too short. I mean, it got like maybe wasn't that like four episodes? Yeah, two four episodes max. Everything <laughs> was else like was just training and training and all that. So. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't really do well. So hopefully, like you said, you know, season six, you know, is way better. Um, but I think a lot of people watched season five, though, although it wasn't that great. I mean, I think a lot of people still watched it. Gotcha. Um, are you guys keeping up with it or? Yeah, I'm keeping up with it. I, I finished. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely watch season. Six. Um, let me see. Uh, Diaz, anything on uh, My Hero Academia? Season six. Uh season six. I'm so far behind in that show. Uh, so um, nothing for me. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to catch up before I can speak on it properly. But it, it's good to see how far the show has come. I remember when it first came out, and I, and I first started getting into it uh, mm-hmm. before I lost my way. And I just I, I didn't think it'll get this far. To be completely honest, so it's good to see it still going. Uh, Lawrence, are you back? Yeah, I'm back. All right. Any, I know, I don't know if you watched any opinion on this one. I don't know if you see. No, I, see. I, I don't, I don't watch it. Okay. Probably. Yeah, I, I haven't watched it. Okay. Uh, Isaac, anything on uh, My Hero uh, Season 6? Yeah, nothing here. I've never really watched it. I just never got into My Hero, so. Okay. But uh, I think that's coming uh, probably next year, hopefully. But yeah, I'm ready for it, honestly. I kind of miss anime schedule, honestly with you. Uh, so next we have uh, the Suicide Squad director, James Gunn, who's also famous for Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, he's also currently working on Volume 3 of uh, Galaxy. <laughs> Not interested in the Joker. Uh, go ahead. Um... Yeah. Um, yeah, so pretty much James Gunn is uh debunking any rumors of him doing anything anything at all 
with the Joker. Uh, he's uninterested in him uh, as a character. He essentially told uh, essentially told the media that you know Joker's been done so well so many times by so many people, and he's much more interested in taking characters who haven't fully had their shot or characters that he himself uh, can identify with and connect with. And he went on to say that he feels connected to Harley Quinn. And uh, he's felt that she's been one of the easiest characters that she's ever written. So expect to see some more Harley Quinn and anything that he produces. Uh, and ex don't expect to see Jared Leto or any form of the Joker in um, any of the Task Force X's missions. Uh, again, he, he already stated the Joker just wouldn't make sense in a Suicide Squad context pretty much at all. So, um, and not even as a wild card. So, um, yeah, I thought this was good information. I thought this was good news. Uh, we've already been getting some oversaturation from him in the Harley Quinn aspect, and now we know why. Um, another thing is we know uh, we won't get any more characters, uh, any of the big guys like the Joker. It's going to continue uh, taking control of the DC villain verse. With some of the more underrated characters, such as King Shark or Polka Dot Man or um, uh, Bloodsport, and I think that's a good good route to go. I like to see the B listers and C listers get a shot, and I think that provides the most creativity in these films. So, I'm curious to see where it goes. Okay, this is a really good. Uh, this is a, this is a pretty good one because you know um, James Gunn. You know he's good for his galaxy. Now him going to DC, you know, this gives us a lot. It's a good opportunity for him, I mean, especially as a professional and, you know, getting the bag. I mean, now he can work for both sides of uh, two worlds here. Um, so about Joker, I'm curious, because there's a lot of things going on with DC uh, currently. We have, uh, I think, fandom. DC fandom came out uh, a couple of months ago. A little event where they show different things and trailers and stuff. So Peacemaker, we already mentioned Black Adam is coming um what else is coming uh we got the batman's coming soon uh there should be a joker sequel coming in the future obviously with one billion box office opening weekend with only 70k uh movie budget so that's definitely coming um a blue beetle movie's coming so uh you got a batgirl movie i mean there's a lot of shit coming from dc wait hold on did i hear that correct did you say there was a peacemaker coming a uh, peacemaker TV show with uh yeah it's gonna be a show yep. yeah that's gonna be on Max yep. Lord have mercy man that shit is John Cena see the that's just gonna be funny as hell man I'm ready for that <clears throat> uh, that shit's gonna be trash I, well I, never mind my bad and don't don't forget they're also still working on pre production for a Green Lantern HBO series ah uh, shit I forgot yeah so yeah that's another one. It's a lot of stuff there. Uh, what are your thoughts, Lawrence? Because I know you're. Oh well, my my first question is: Okay, he's uninterested in the Joker. Who asked him to do it? Nobody that I know of. So who cares? Ah, uh, I mean, I mean, seriously, I haven't seen anything whatsoever where anybody asked him about him being interested in the Joker. So I, I think this is just a publicity grab for the most part. Yeah. I um, think, as I far think as, right. as yeah, as far as it goes for him not being interested in characters with a whole lot of history well that's stupid harley quinn's got 30 30 plus mm -hmm. actually i mean right now out of all the female characters in the dc universe she's more fleshed out than anybody including wonder woman and batgirl True. so what is so so what is he talking about he doesn't he doesn't identify with those other women he only identifies with her <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, i know a lot of dudes who identify with her and then on top of that he really doesn't have any much say anyway because they gave complete access to the DC universe across the board to J.J. Abrams. I mean, this man this man worked out a multi-billion dollar deal with them. That's why the first thing on his agenda was Superman and a whole bunch of other stuff to just tweak and twist around and change change the concept of it, which is what he does. So. That says a lot. So DC's going down the shitter further. Okay. okay. <laughs> what What's your thoughts? Yeah, Isaac? go yeah, ahead. Yeah, go go ahead, Isaac. <laughs> I mean, um, 
I'm glad that he's uninterested in the Joker. I mean, I wouldn't want him to screw it up like uh, uh, the Suicide Squad. This last one was fucked up, so uh, it's great that he's not interested. Um, it, yeah, it would just be terrible. Um, I, you know, I just, you know, it, I, it, it, and it, I'm gonna be honest. I mean. The only Guardians of the Galaxy that was all that was the first one. Uh, the second one, I couldn't make it through it without falling asleep. So, damn, man, it is what it is. Um, I mean, hey, now we know that Abrams is, yeah, Abrams is over. You know, he's got to run the mill in DC. So, hey, we know that there's going to be more trash. Uh, he had a lot to do with um, uh, Disney and uh, Star Wars a little bit. So, hey, 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 and Star. Hey. And Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's Star your Trek. realm. You know about more about that than I do. <laughs> yo, I mean, yo, I mean, I mean, this dude is just coming. And he, everything he does, he's wrecked. And we're talking about somebody who's been given carte blanche just because what he did a TV show on a on a on a on a female spy. That and uh, wasn't it? Um, oh, I forgot what else too. And Lost, I think. I think it was that one movie, wasn't it? Cloverfield or some crap like that. I can't remember. But anyway, I mean, that's, and that I mean, was trash like, too. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, I, I pay very little attention to this dude. But everything he does, he comes in with his quote unquote top quote, which is subvert expectations, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And then he just he he he, he starts off strong. The first movie is always hot, but everything that comes after that, from from the from the sequel movies to the TV shows, is hot trash, man. Every time. Well, you know. Only thing I got to say after this now is, uh, well, you know, uh, thank you, uh, DC. I know how to save my money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I don't care to spend any of it on this crap. Huh? That's yeah. all I got. So, all right, uh, Trunks. Anything on this? Um, no, not really. Um, yeah. Problem, uh, Young Swift, anything? Nah, I wonder who James Gunn is, Gunn is so yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right, uh, Mega, anything? The of the <laughs> Suicide Squad. I'm, I'm unplugged, man. I'm unplugged. Oh, God. All right, yeah. Unplugged. All right. Omega, anything? <laughs> uh, I don't really have much. <clears throat> to say, but um, being uninterested in the Joker isn't the end of the world. I mean, there's so many villains that could be used. Um, so I say give it a give it a shot in that direction. I hear you. Uh, so next up, a new Marvel MMO hold game on, is. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay. I want to respond to. I want to respond to one thing Lawrence said. Go ahead. I think that. Um, he made this as a response to all the all the guys crying for the original cut of Suicide Squad, because a lot of a lot of those fans they uh, the Ayer cut, my tripping the Ayer cut. A lot of those fans wanted the Joker to appear more in the first Suicide Squad, and they were hoping for him to appear in the second one. So I, I'm assuming he was getting a lot of questions, continuing on why isn't the Joker here. And uh, are you going to bring him in further? I think that's why he made those statements. So, so was it actually about the Joker, or was it actually about them responding to how Jared Leto acted after Joaquin Phoenix got the title role? Uh, his exact quote was, uh, "You know, there are all sorts of characters I'm out there doing. The Joker isn't one of them." Okay. So, yeah, 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 because Jared Leto burnt that bridge by his response. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. He'd mess it up um, anyway, yeah. so it don't matter. That's why he's not interested. <laughs> he know he gets up. Yeah, ex people. yeah, exactly. He who, he would. I mean, who I mean, who wants a joker that's a gangster? That's not even the character, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, seriously. That, I mean, the was joke James Gunn behind that? No, no, that was um that was the Ayers cut from the uh from, okay. the, from the first Suicide Squad. But I mean, seriously, you see, you wait. I mean, you're excited to see the Joker. Everybody wants to see a particular actor's interpretation. Mm -hmm. But when the camera pans them and the Joker's sitting there with tattoos and a grill, that's not the Joker, man. Yeah. That's that's, that's yeah. Insane. Yeah, his portrayal in uh, the uh, Snyder cut of Justice League was 
Much, much better. But anyways. All right. All right. Next up. New Marvel game. MMO game is in early development. Uh, I saw this stuff. So it says, uh, as I mentioned in a new investor pre presentation from company, in not Global 7, it was said that an unannounced MMO game associated with Marvel is currently in development. The project is said to be in, in the works at Dimensional Inc. Studios, which is the studio that worked on DC. Uh, Jack, Jack, Jack Ermit, who's known both Heroes and DC Universe Online, is said to be the person in charge of this new MMO game tied to Marvel. Other than these key details, not much else was offered up about it. Or, it says the MMO is a long-term project within the company's portfolio. Um, it says, it says this labeled this game as one that won't be released until well after 2020. Um, so quick thoughts. I mean, everyone's trying to get their Marvel uh, game back right now. Um, you have... Uh, a zombie act that did spider-man making their sequel coming soon which is going to do pretty well a trailer came out game uh game a uh, trailer came out a while ago that looked pretty good then you got zombie act making um wolverine can't wait for that <laughs> i can't wait for that hopefully they do it right though you know um what else we got we had uh guardians of the galaxy recently got released from square enix uh last month that did uh, surprisingly was a pretty good game um so I was shocked by that. I was uh, addicting 10 hours of my life. That game was super good. Um, yep, like j says, we got Marvel Midnight Suns, which is another game coming out. So, you know, people are trying to get their hands on these IPs. Not really, that's not shocking at all, and we'll see how it goes. But right now, the GOAT goes to Spider-Man. I think that's the best Marvel game right now. But um, what are your thoughts on this new... Uh, game maybe being good maybe being trash we don't know uh what do you think uh ideas anything uh it's a it's a spider-man in memo no this, this says marvel they, they didn't give us the character okay okay uh yeah i'm not a big marvel guy i only pretty much tune in for marvel for spider-man um but I, I am interested in the superhero MMO. i don't i haven't I can't think of one I've ever come across, so I'm curious for this development. I'll probably be following with that. Okay, uh, Eisen, anything on this? Because I think you play MMOs more than I. Yeah, do. I've uh, I've played D DC uh, Universe Online. It was actually fun. Um, I had a uh, myriad of different um, creator powers. You could, you know, creator based powers uh, that you could actually choose from. So it was a fun one. Um, so I figure, uh, being that you know they said that this guy was behind uh, uh, DC Universe, and that he's behind this one too. So uh, it'll probably be more the same, and uh, I think I think it'll be good. I'd be interested in it. So, okay, uh, Mega, any thoughts on this new Marvel game? Uh, I'm definitely in the Marvel, so I say yeah, go for it. Like I think it's gonna be um, just a Another, uh, I don't know, because it they had um, what was it? It was kind of like I want to say Diablo, but it had like Marvel characters in it. Mm -hmm. Talking about Ultimate Alliance, maybe? Name. Yeah, it was on PS4. It was like, um, I actually think I still have it downloaded, but it, it was it was interesting because you played online with people and everything, so. Like, uh, I, I think it's going to be uh, awesome. I, I mean, they already have another one that's uh, coming out in the works, which is uh, Marvel's uh, Sons of... Uh, yeah, Midnight Suns. Yeah, Midnight Suns. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it'll be cool. Yeah. I like all, right. all like Spider-Man games, pretty much the X-Men games. Uh I don't know. Marvel's been pretty, pretty consistent on putting out some pretty good uh, uh, video games for their characters. Yeah, I'll I'll give Marvel some credit because I thought Guardians was gonna be trash at first. When I first saw the trailer, I'm like, oh shit, 
just don't look good. It didn't yeah. look good. Like the way they presented the game, it didn't look good at all. The, the marketing for it was kind of what it <laughs> but it ended up yeah, being like good. The, I guess kind of like similar to the marketing for Avengers. Oh my no 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 Marvel Avengers suck. <laughs> that, that game like that game the Square Square Enix basically redeemed themselves with Guardians. Based on what I've been yeah. hearing about when people mention Avengers, they don't really put in a good light on that first. I wish I did remember the name of that one that I was actually talking. I think it was Marvel's. I can't remember it, but it it, it definitely was like kind of like, um, it it just reminded me of Diablo. But you were actually playing with like one of your favorite Marvel characters. Um, anything on this uh, Swift? I mean, if you like MMOs, it probably, it's probably going to be a good game if you like those type of games. Me, I didn't really like DC Universe Online. I liked it when it when I first started playing it, but then they got boring super fast. So, but if you're in MMOs, it's probably going to be a good game. Uh, anything on this uh, Trunks? Um, not a gamer. Right, right, right. You know, right. You know I guess if you're a fan, you're a fan. Uh, uh, Lawrence, did you say anything on this yet? I uh, know I got nothing. I'm good. Okay. Next up. Next, uh, Mega, we got uh, Venom and Carnage finally joined to become one symbiote. Um, what are the, what's your, uh, I guess your initial stuff on this one? Oh, this was yeah, four days so... ago. How long was it? Four days ago. So it's pretty recent. Oh yeah, that was pretty recent. So yeah, um I thought it was um um I'm gonna read like a little in depthness of of it. Uh I'll try to stay away from any kind of spoiler. Mm-hmm. Um so uh Marvel Comics teases that Venom and Carnage, two symbiote rivals, have merged together in one terrifying symbiote in the latest issue of Dark Ages. Um, So Dark Ages is pretty much like a situation where uh, they have an individual called the Unmaker, which kind of knocks just the whole civilization back into like a kind of where we in the Stone Age. There's no electrical power or anything. And uh, it's actually proven to uh, help the world. I mean, um, we actually have Wakanda becoming now uh, somewhat of a central um, bastion of uh, actual uh, civilization. Uh, But what's very interesting is that um, Apocalypse, of course, the person that always believes in you need power and more power and power and power and even more power finds this uh kind of at a dismay because we also have certain uh superheroes now working with apocalypse into creating this brand new world um do you keep the world as it is or do you initiate actually bringing some more uh advancement to it i mean you know uh Apocalypse did have a time in his uh, long immortality where he didn't have any kind of tech at all. But once he did get his hands on it, and of course comes with knowledge, he uh, got better. And mostly his character has always done that with uh, certain people that he's had, like even fights with or, you know, certain individuals he felt like he could mold into even a stronger version than themselves basically power but what's i think is so in depth of this is that these two symbiotes actually merging into one host which is going to be miles now whether of course peter parker his own mentor has an issue with this or not it does bring to a same uh kind of aspect of what apocalypse is truly about even with 
a world that considerably most people would be like, well, things are getting better. Um, and shocking that there's certain superheroes that even at once fought against Apocalypse are now uh, siding with him to create this uh, this new uh, civilization, this new uh, uh, society. Um, but um, it's it's interesting that uh, the host is definitely going to be, you know, uh, Miles, like uh, Morales. Now, when you think about um, some of the things that he's already been through and then also his own augmented powers and, you know, two symbiotes that um, that are pretty some like some heavy hitters merging into one. I mean, that's like a you got like a triplex of power going on there. So, yeah, I thought this would be interesting. Um I hope everybody has their uh, takes on it and stuff, but uh, I'll read a little more into where, uh, where, um, okay, so uh, with the Venom and Carnage somehow being merged in this uh, dystopian future, however, Apocalypse also teases a third party involved, mostly likely the new symbiote, host, which is uh, Miles himself. Um, In any case, um, Venom, Carnage, and Miles are going to be incredibly like a deadly trio in the future issues of what is uh, deemed the Dark Ages. Um, Likewise, their combined new form will likely serve as a major shock to many of the heroes they'll be hunting, particularly Miles' mentor and the actual first Venom host, which is Peter Parker. Okay. I mean, I don't have much to say on this one. You mentioned Miles. I was kind of interested. Um, I know, and this is, I'm kind of tying what this is talking about too. But I know Tom Holland has mentioned the folks on Miles Morales after him. Which, um, that's also like a cool ass story that I would like to see like maybe in an animated well actually never mind because they're not DC so they can't make <laughs> animated movies but that's my thoughts on it um, uh, anything Lawrence you're, you're a comic book it... yeah I'm gonna pass on this one damn really I, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting that okay yeah, um, I'm, shocked. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass on this okay uh, Adia's anything on this one uh, I am also uh, gonna pass on that one. I think uh, Mika and Lawrence are only convocates. Uh, Trunks, anything on this one? <laughs> um, I mean, man, another generic comment from me. It looks cool. Um, I'm like a really, really casual Marvel fan, but um, yeah, nothing else much to say. Uh, Swift, anything? Um, I don't know, like Venom and Carnage uniting, becoming the ultimate Black Air Force energy super okay. villain or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's what I got from that. Okay, how about you, Eisen? Anything? Uh, nothing much really here. Just, I guess, have to kind of wait and see what else they're going to do with this. Uh, next up, we got uh, MCU's Eternals and Souls creator Jack Kirby's memory. Of uh, go ahead, Lawrence. I gotta hear this one. As you can see in the very beginning, <clears throat> in the first uh, paragraph, I'll read: the new politically correct Eternals movie appears to have resulted <laughs> in one of the lowest-grossing Marvel adaptations so far. That's the first sentence. Here's the thing. When Jack Kirby created these characters and he fleshed out the entire story, it was a thing about man, all men, rising to a greater pinnacle of themselves to achieve greatness throughout the universe. But if you look at the movie, they've turned it into, again, woke media, (laughs) alternative lifestyles, et cetera, and so on. That wasn't even close to what Kirby 
created. As a matter of fact, when Kirby created his characters, he didn't care about none of that nonsense. He just wanted good structural stories and good characters. I think they did a disservice to him by tweaking those characters um, to be portrayed the way they were. Um, if it wasn't if it, if it wasn't sexual swapping, it was gender swapping. If it wasn't gender swapping, it was race swapping. Half those characters you see on that screen are not women, they're men. So I, I, I'm with them on it. I think it insults his memory. I think if you take someone's original work, I understand that there's a certain amount of artistic, you know, stretching you have to do, but you're talking about wholesale reimagining and trying to pass it off as Kirby's great work. But the truth of the matter is, is you know what you did sucks. That's why you try to attach his name on it to bring people in who loves his work. That's my take. Uh, just my, I could just give you my opinion about the movie. I mean, um, it, I and I guess I would say it's better than Thor Two: Dark World, but I guess that's not saying anything. It might be better than Ant Man Two. That's still not saying anything. Um, it's not the worst MCU movie, but it's definitely not the best. I think I gave it like a six out of ten after I watched it once. I'm like, okay, not bad. Maybe if it came out earlier and maybe a, another earlier phase could have been a higher score, but for this to come out in phase four, um, this is pretty weak as a movie. In fact, I would say most phase four movies have been pretty weak besides Shang-Chi so far. Um, Shang-Chi is yeah. probably the only movie phase four, but that's been kind of pretty, in my opinion. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, you can see that they're, you can see that they're starting to go a totally different way than what they presented us in the, in the first three phases. I mean, it's, it's just there. Um, from the type of characters they're pushing forward to the where they're changing them. I mean, and we're talking we're talking about changes that aren't necessary. Does that make sense? I mean, I mean, what the the character? What do you get out of the change in the character's gender? There's nothing there because you're still using the exact same story arc. So what would be the point of that? What would be the importance of making it a huge part of a movie about a character sexuality? Nobody came in here to see that. I mean, which, in other words, what's going on in comics right now, you're going to start seeing in all the Marvel movies from here on out. And and, and Kevin Feige even admitted as such. That's, that's that's why Captain Marvel is now the Marvels, <laughs> you know what I mean? And the oh, list is gonna go on. Gotcha. So, Just to give you, you know some other uh, numbers, so domestic it made 150 million, international 217 million, total was only 360. For a Marvel movie, that's pretty low. Usually, the average, and I'm just taking a guess here, is usually like, well, before the zombie war happened, right? They were. A, a basic MCU movie mm -hmm. could make at least five hundred million. Easy, yep. easy, easy. Five hundred and up. And I, yeah, and that's it. And that's in the first thirty days or less. Right. So this is pretty. I mean, this is not good. This is like the, I, I would want to compare this to Shazam's numbers because I think Shazam was pretty low. Right. But um, that's just my thoughts. Any uh, eyes and anything on this one? Uh, yeah, um, kind of to go off what, you know, Lawrence talked about, I'm just going to be honest. Um, you really should have known that, uh, they were going to give you some crap whenever you got Iron Man 3. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, you, you know, you got no actual Mandarin. Um, so... I wasn't even interested in seeing Shang Chi because of it. Mm. Uh, I just <laughs> so you know, I, I have yet to watch anything after uh, the final Avengers, uh, the you know the Infinity War deal. So um, I guess it, well, the only thing I've watched is Spider Man. Um, I watched it. I'll probably watch that next one coming up, and it's going back to Sony. Um, right. And uh, what they they scrapped Doctor Strange, didn't they? What do you mean they scrapped Doctor Strange? Are they still are they still doing it? I know it, it, there were talks about they may not do it or whatever. 
I don't oh, is Doctor Strange? But Doctor he's, he's, Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Yeah, that's still that's still coming. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's still so happening. that might be the next one I see. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, but, so I, but 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 I would throw this out there real quick, just 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 to get the the, the general idea. From the time Robert Downey Jr. became Iron Man, all the way until the end of the last Avengers movie, Endgame. You could not make an announcement about a Marvel movie without it being the talk of the town for every single day until it premiered and even after. Who's yeah. talking about Shang-Chi? Who's talking about the Eternals? Who's talking about the She-Hulk? Who's talking about Thor Love and Thunder? Because we're going to be getting Jane Foster as Thor. Who's talking about it? Nobody. And like I said, as Kevin Feige himself made many a mention in many interviews, he's going woke. And, you know, and I think the thing is, there wasn't, there's not an actual problem, I guess, well, she became Thor in the comics anyways, but, you know, it's just that, it, just the way they've done things, you know, it's just, it, it's just a recipe, you just see the recipe for disaster, so. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, bottom line is, phase four is going to be more, is going to be Disney's version of the last Terminator flick, the last Charlie's Angels flick. Uh, that's that's that doesn't sound good. That's how well, that's how I see it. Just saying. Um. Uh, thoughts, trunks. I know you say you're not, but Marvel. Nah, uh, I'm. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, when there's a new Marvel movie, like I might go and watch it if I hear it's good. Um, just like everybody else. Um, yeah, I'm just neutral. Okay. Uh, anything Swift. Yeah. No, I got nothing on this. Okay, uh, ideas? Uh, nah, I think you guys summed it up pretty well. Hey, okay, Omega, anything? Uh, no, I think, uh, yeah, everything was, uh, much said about it. Um, I, I can't give too much because I haven't watched it yet, so... Mm-hmm. But just judging from, you know, what Lawrence had said, then, yeah. Okay. Uh, so next up, and guys, we have uh, reached the, we're way past the two-hour mark, so this thing y'all know. Uh, we could do, a, after this one, we could do a rapid fire. You all, If y'all have anything that I haven't, you haven't brought up yet, that y'all want to just quickly mention, let me know, and uh, can get about ending our first episode uh, so next up, uh, Sword Art Online Progressive Anime gets new film next year. Um, Trunks, go ahead. All right. So um, I think I've seen like most of the first season of Sword Art Online. I plan to, I plan to finish it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting that they're making a new film. So yeah, I did this and. Um, has anyone like completely seen it? Like all of it? I'll be honest, no, I have not. I have, I have not. I tried watching the original original series long ago, and I haven't tried again. Uh, but I'm kind of out of the loop with um, what I don't like. People like it; they like it. That's pretty. Much it. Uh, right. any, uh, dude, are you done, trucks? Or I can I can move it. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all good. right. Uh, anything swift on this? What's on me? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sort of line that's expected. It's a popular show. That's about it. I mean, it's it's, it's expected. Right, right, right. Uh, eyes and anything? <laughs> nothing here. Okay. Uh, Lawrence, anything on this one? I got nothing. <laughs> um, Omega, anything on this one? Um, I enjoy the anime, but yeah, uh, no, I don't really have much on it. Okay, uh, so I wanted to show a quick little numbers because I like looking at the numbers here. So we already mentioned Eternals, but we got, um, so Ghostbusters Afterlife they actually did apparently they did really well. 
Um, I yeah, didn't. Baby. I didn't watch it. I'm shocked that it wow. did well. Um, Paul Rudd, I think, was in there from Ant Man. Uh, so we got. What was it overall gross? Out here. Why are you shocked by it? Looks like because I mean the, the last one came out and it was trash. So I thought this one might be trash too. Oh yeah, no, this was nothing. Oh no, no, no. This is yeah, because because this this one that's yeah, out now. Yeah, last one was wicked, yeah. wicked, wack. Yeah, this 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 one that's out now was based on the original concept, following the original storyline from the first original two. Yeah, that yeah. that one before this, that was identity politics and trying to rewrite the entire thing. Because even even the actors who showed up in that last one wasn't even playing their original characters; they were different people. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. before I get to the next person, uh, shout out to uh, Dorian for the super chat. He says, keep up the hard work. Appreciate it, Dorian. Shout out to you. Shout out. Uh, what's right, up, Eric? Dorian. What's up, Eric? What's up? Um, uh, go. Anything else, Lawrence? Did you see it? What, what was your review without spoiling it? No, no, no. I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but I, I, I expected it to be good. I really did. Oh, yeah. Because, I... you, cause like I said, you got the original cast coming back, playing their actual characters. Mm -hmm. You've got the son... The sons of the producer and director who did the original two, I expected it to be good. That mm -hmm. one before with the women, like I said, that was identity politics. It, it, as a matter of fact, they did the same thing the remake of Charlie's Angels did. This movie is not for men. Then when we don't show up, you complain about why it failed. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I mean, they they literally changed the entire concept. So so I expected this to be good. I really did, and I had saw the advanced trailers for it, mm -hmm. and I I had seen portions of the script. And I had heard word from a couple of people. I I expected this to be good. This does not surprise me at all, yeah. at all. Um, and so it says in, international was twenty eight million, worldwide hundred fifteen million. But you got to consider, you know, zombie war effects of the movie. Maybe the numbers mm -hmm. would have been better pre um, zombie war, but I've heard some good things about it. So I didn't hear anyone trashing it. Um, anything on this, uh, Young Swift? I don't know if you watched, I don't know, you probably didn't watch it. Anything? Nah, I don't got anything. Okay, Eisen, anything on uh, this one? Oh, yeah. Um, it was an awesome movie. I did go see it. Uh, nice. Like I said, this is, the, this is the only movie I've seen since uh, the uh, beer flu and anything. So, you know, I, I haven't seen uh, anything um up until that, uh, you know, as far as it's popped out in the theaters or whatever, this is the first one that I actually wanted to go see. And uh, it was every bit worth the money and the time spent. Uh, very enjoyable. You could tell um, that it was uh, handiwork by Reitman and, um, you know, uh, elements of uh, Harold Ramis and uh, his son. Um, you could tell everything linked with it, um, uh, images and uh just the overall feel uh, uh, of the movie. And uh, whenever you look at uh, the cast that uh, made its return, you know, the cast that was alive to return. And, uh, you know, it was a really great movie. Um, uh, Rudd was awesome in it. Um, uh, it, was, it was great. Um, and uh, I'm glad to see it's doing well. A lot of people, you could tell, were <laughs> real uh, uh, fans of the first two Ghostbusters. And uh, uh, they came out to support and, um, it's got good reviews for a good reason. Uh, it's a good watch. Can I can I ask you a can I ask you a question real quick, Eisen? Yes. I heard I heard it was a good movie. I did, but I also heard it was a fun movie. Is that true? Oh yes, yes, good. Yes, see, that's, yeah. see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was that's, yeah, that's it was what both. I'm talking. About. Yeah, yeah, I mean everything that the old Ghostbusters was, this one was too. It nice, was good and fun. So. Yeah, I think I might take tomorrow off. <laughs> nah. I'm actually off tomorrow. Um, who else? Uh, ideas? Anything on this? Uh, did you watch a uh, new Ghostbusters? No, nah, I didn't see it. Um, Eisen said some pretty good things about it, uh, so maybe I'll check it out. Uh, Mega, anything on the new Ghostbuster movie? Um, I have nothing. I've only seen trailers still, and I did enjoy where the uh, you know. The little marshmallow man was committing seppuku, so yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so uh, I think we we did have an article on Dune making a hundred million, and I can see that in the numbers here. Um, so Dune that was part one, which I didn't know, 
and there will be a part two coming out. So I don't know when that's coming out. Maybe next year. Um, of course, exclusive on HBO Max, but I think also in theaters. Well, uh, did anyone see Dune? I, I was great. I did a video on that. Uh, it was long, but really dope. No, I haven't seen it, but I do want to. Yeah, I, yeah, same thing. My answer yeah, is the same. same I, I want to, but I haven't seen it. Especially to do a comparison to the original with Sting and the rest of them. I definitely want to do that. Definitely worth a watch. I'd, I'd say even your collector, the Blu-ray. Or the little interview. I'll probably get that. Um, Halloween Kills, I guess. They're in Halloween, you know, October. Under 36 million. I didn't really care about it. Um, did anyone watch that one? No. No. I forgot well, I all about it. I, 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 I kind of wanted to watch it, but yeah, I forgot to. So I'll check right. it out later. Yeah. But for me, Jamie Lee Curtis is just starting to look like a shriveled old lady running around places, man. I, because that's <laughs> what she is. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if, I mean, what, what more is there to say about any of those characters, man? It's just money grab. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I just want to watch Michael Myers anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Anyone watch? No, I'm, I'm actually impressed by No Time to Die with um, almost 800 million worldwide. That's pretty good. Post uh, zombie war. I mean, if it feels pretty. It would have been probably one million. That's pretty good. But I, <laughs> I did not watch uh. I didn't. I didn't watch it yet, but I plan on doing so. Anyone see that one? I'm not watching it. Yeah. From everything I hear, he's be, he's being oh. cucked from beginning to end. I'm not watching that. That's not James Dang. Bond. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, I can't do it. Well, I mean, um, he's giving up. I mean, he's giving up his life for a chick to marry her. I think is the basis, and then you got but, the black chick who's supposed to be the new Double uh, Seven. I'm not trying to do all but, that. But you know, they they did have that with the one. Um, but you know, she. At that one, you know, she did die at the end, but that was the only time it happened. It was, but that was good writing. So writing's not much good anymore for movies. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just I can't do it. I, I've got all the ones I need now, so I don't need to have that one. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I'm with you. That's exactly my point. I'm 100 percent with you on that. I, I got everything I need. I don't need that. Uh, let me see. Let me got a rapid fire here. So um, of course there was the. Uh, Lethal Weapon 5 coming out that was kind of uh, announced that are Lethal, uh, another sequel. Long as Lethal Weapon series is coming out, uh, I haven't, I'm not caught up with those, that series. I don't know if I ever will be. I tried watching the first one and I just couldn't do it. So that's, <laughs> that was on the news for this month. Um, we had Some advice. Uh huh. Some advice. The second and the fourth one are the best. The, the fourth one was the one with Jet Li in it. And the, yeah. and the, and, and the second one was when they introduced um, Leo, uh, the, the short guy. Yeah, the, the two and two out of the, I mean, to me, they were all they were all good. I enjoyed it, but two and four were the best to me. Um, going faster here. Bioshock 4, got teased for next-gen consoles. Go figure. I mean, that, that was about to happen. We had Red Dead Redemption 3 also. Uh, teased for from Rockstar, of course. Red Dead's a popular series. I mean, just like really, we also if they're gonna do that, they might as well do GTA 6, which I heard got teased in the um remaster or something. Something got teased about GTA 6. I forgot where though. I heard about that. Um, rapid fire, uh, World Ends Harem anime, uh, will be released January 7th next year can't wait for that <laughs> you should definitely watch it <laughs> it's kind of cringe but it's funny in a way um i i did a episode a reaction on episode one that shit crazy basically you're there's like five men on on i guess japan who who are surrounded by all these women and they need to breed off <laughs> kids and they have these five men that they're holding like hostage it's kind of Wait, what's the show called? I'm out of here. World, world, and worlds and harem. It came out as a fall anime, but then they oh, delayed it. That. Oh, winter. wait, no, I've heard of that. Okay, yeah, no, no, I know what that is. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm telling you, if that shit came out this fall. I think would have been would have done pretty well. Not that much competition with 
fall besides Demon Slayer, Kami Can't Communicate, maybe a Mekachan, or another one called something Sensei, I forgot the name. But, uh, yep, um, did anyone see the Spider Man No Way Home trailer? No, I haven't. I'm trying to stay away no, from I, I, I saw a piece of it. I okay. bet, I mean, a piece of it. Uh, what are your uh, quick thoughts on that? Obviously, you know, I, I'm. did you watch the Spider-Man Sam Raimi trilogy? Did you watch that one? Oh, if, if it was Spider-Man, every last one of them I watched. Tobey okay. Maguire, Andrew Garfield, the whole nine yards. Okay, give, me your, give me your quick thoughts on the trailer. Oh, honestly, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, I, like I said, I, 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 I like the idea. I mean, I was, I was hyped for it already because they were, like I said, they were already priming us with Dr. Strange and the multiverse of madness. Then they turned around with the WandaVision so that they've been prepping us for the multiverse for a minute. But, mm -hmm. um, but I like it. I, I like the trail. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, I know they're re I know they're reenacting certain scenes from the other movies with Tom Holland now, like the one off the bridge. Mm -hmm. Um, when he's reaching, you know, and then and then the scene, and I'm always good to see Alfred Molina play Doc Ock. I'm not mad. Right. <laughs> so I'm not mad. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. I, I enjoyed the trailer. I did. Yeah, I, th I think this is going to be the first um, Phase Four movie that really just does the home run, the full home run, all bases. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I this would agree. It's a nice you. MCU Grand Slam mm -hmm. of the year. Yeah. Because, um, because, because that tra that trailer looked like the MCU we've been watching, right? Yeah, Phases right. one through three. It look, it, that's what that's what I see in my head when we're talking about MCU and the, the, the other stuff, Black Widow and all that, not working. And to come so. out during holiday season, like Christmas time, that shit's gonna get heavy numbers. Oh yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this this is probably gonna be the first one in a while, not just for the MCU, but probably for movies. Period. It's gonna make some money. Now, people are going to come out. The, the problem with um, the competition, though, on Christmas, you know, Matrix 4 decided to stay on hey. HBO Max, not theaters. I don't think it's going to theater, really. So, that obviously, was a smart move. Wait, you think that was a smart move for Matrix to go this HBO Max only? Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, I, I, th I think it was. Because you, you got to remember the last one, which was what, Matrix Revolutions? That yeah. did not go well at all. And you're talking about you're talking about the characters are older, and you're talking about one of the primary characters of the Trinity is missing. They switched out Lawrence Fishburne for another dude. Yeah. So I mean, seriously, I, that was a smart move to me to go to HBO instead of instead of movie theater. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Um, I mean, it, it it's and plus the the gap between those movies uh, to go up against. Spider Man, it wouldn't have been smart. So, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I would agree with that too. Yep. Uh, okay, rapid fire. Anything, Swift? Any, anything you got that I didn't uh, bring up? Anything? You want to no, you can more? bypass the rest of my stuff because it, because it'll, it'll it'll turn into a long conversation. I I know it will. I know it will. So you can bypass my stuff for another time. Okay. How about you, Swift? Yeah, I'm good. All right, I'm good. Uh, Trunks, you good? Um, yeah, you know, the idea that I had was we do like a rapid fire, uh -huh. but if we come across something that we want to talk about, we, we just do it. I don't know. There might be some gold in there. Okay. But for what you have left over, you think there's anything worth, um, mentioning real quick? Oh, oh, anything specific? Uh, I don't, I don't really know. No, not, not particularly. Okay. Um, um what? wait. Yeah, no. No. Okay. Uh Diaz, no. I think I got your message. Are you good? Diaz? Sorry about that. Uh you're good. I walked out for a second. Uh I missed the last bit. What did you say? Oh, do you is there anything you want to quickly mention from your stuff or you're good? Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, how about you, Eisen? I'm good. I'm good. I think we covered enough. Hey, how about you, Omega? It's okay on my end. Okay. There was there was there was one I wanted to do because I think it's time sensitive, but I think you can wait. I think I think you can. Oh, okay. Well, what was it? 
That was the Stargate thing with Amazon. But I, I think it can wait because the merger hasn't completed yet. So I think it can wait. Okay, cool. Man, so this is our end of our first episode. We covered a lot of stuff. A lot. And Woo! we're, we're going to do that again for the episode two. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you missed this, you can watch the playback on audio formats, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Anchor, all that good stuff. Um, leave a like. Um and we'll see you on episode two. Uh, we will do this twice a month. So episode two will probably be like early December, probably mid-December. So you can see that at 7 p.m. Central, as always. And um, yeah, I appreciate my uh, my host, people in the chat, chilling, getting this um, good otaku news. And we'll see you guys on the next one, guys. Peace out. Yeah, definitely. Thank all you guys. Yeah, thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely... There could be more to the case than meets the eye. Haven't had a lot of company in a long time, but if I were expecting some, I'd whip up a really uh, substantial meal. You see how strong I am? <laughs> I'm eating all of this stuff.